everybody and Merry Christmas from over here at Disneyland Paris and we are over here for the start of our weekend trip over towards one of the most magical places on earth for the start of their very Merry Christmas yeah, event opening day, opening I mean, day event Christmas. I know it's so exciting over here one of my favorite places on the planet my charter park and to be able to step back here over here for the start of this event is absolutely amazing so many iconic attractions You've seen our first time going to the new Avengers campus over yeah. at just there as well. I oh, know, it's, it's going to be cool. absolutely yeah. awesome. But with me today, we've got Adam Derek, my mum and my dad for this <laughs> very exciting <laughs> video. It's going to be so, so awesome. We're over here right now for the early magic hours to maximise the time. But we are over here in the park. So if you do enjoy today and want to give a bit of Christmas magic over towards us, Make sure to click that subscribe button so you can see even more videos just like this from over here, from all around the planet. So many great parks and attractions. But no further ado, we're out here right now, almost going through it's to the so park. Crazy, Are you excited for today? Oh, uh, you know, what can I say? We're back at one of my favourite Disney resorts, my favourite places in the world. Like, it's my third favourite place, or second, I don't know. You know, incredible. it's incredible. Like, this place is unbelievable. Like, Oh, sorry, the two theme parks here are incredible. The theming is incredible. Honestly, there's something about Disney which yeah. is just amazing. It really is. And we're going to do profit as well for our stay. Oh, yeah, and we'll be taking there, you yeah. over here as well later on today. But when you get there and you stand inside that cabin, nice. knowing it's a day, we're going to be heading into here. It's just it's an, different. It really is. It really is a crazy experience. So now queuing up, ready to get in the park for when it opens. And experience of attractions is something that I'm never going to forget. So no further ado, let's join this long line and head into Disneyland Park. <laughs> Here we go, down to Main Street USA at Christmas. And there's something about Disney at Christmas, something so different, something so amazing. The music playing in the background, the trees, the decks. Oh, it's amazing to be down here. It's just I haven't been in the past Christmas for like years now, so it's lovely back here. Experience all of the decks for the first time. Everyone taking these photos down here. The cars can down are incredible. Last time at Christmas is 2012. 2012. So 10 years ago. 10 years ago. 10 years ago, so you got to Christmas and wow, is it incredible. I never thought we'd do so much. Now, if you come to Disney, you're going to expect a lot, don't get me wrong. You come to Disney, you expect an awful lot, but this, even with Disney, is amazing. And we have got some trips coming up. You expect a lot and they deliver. Yeah, I know. But because it's just coming up, it's going to be even more Christmas trips. but. This is not going to be the only Disney park we go to at Christmas. No. Because there is one going to be towards the end of Christmas. But we'll announce that later on. We'll announce one for you guys. But being down here, seeing the giant trees, the decks, the little Disney references, I guarantee you there's something there. And walking down, mate, to your head. Your face, right behind the Disney. camera, is just this is unreal, guys. Love Christmas, love Disney. So, Disney at Christmas is a completely you know, one. Kind of hard today. We've been experience all the decks and all the people for the first time. Like I said, it's the opening day today, isn't it? Yeah, it's the opening day, so everyone's in a festive mood, even though it is only the 12th of November. But you know what? Yeah. I love Christmas. Love Christmas. Christmas is starting on November, shouldn't it? Exactly. You know, I think Christmas should start the 1st of November, in my opinion. Because, you know, Christmas is not the best time of the year, and Disney, in my opinion, it's is the best thing on the world in ever created. Yeah, it literally is a bit of heaven that came down to it. That's yeah. what Disney is, and that Christmas is just going to take it to the next level. Also, then, Disney at Christmas. Disney at Christmas at night. So later on tonight, when we see this park at night, it's going to be an experience like nothing else. So for our first ride today, I think we came to the we're going to do Highland Mountain. Yeah, I think it is. It's a great coaster, and no matter the theme you, maybe it's going to some other coasters now. You know, that coaster is a great coaster, but you know, I just love this area. I just can't. I know, we can't go over it. Get me, we all cover so much later on. Of course, in the early hours, my first Tom tip of the day, my name is Tom, these are my tips. It's the head to the rise. I know it's amazing. You come in here, you see all the shop, you see all the staff waving at you. You want to experience it all. But in the middle of the day when it's absolutely packed, don't go and then go and have the rides because obviously it's going to be really busy. But instead, go and experience all this. You can't go up for hours long. Instead, go and experience all of the magic that makes you say. But in the mornings, in my opinion, obviously everyone's different. It's head to the rides because it's the quietest time. We're in the early hours. And to start off with our magic hours, we're going to head to infinity and beyond on High Flow Mountain. Let's go. <laughs> Walk 
walk-on queue for Space Mountain. Literally walk-on queue. That's crazy. Not too bad at all. Wow. Disney ride is something else. High Space Mountain, our first ride of the day. What time is it right now, Adam? Uh, it's only 8.44. 8.44, it's been 15 minutes. Oh the queue's all come. No, they're so <laughs> quick. But the ride itself is phenomenal. It's yeah. Made it look a lot. When you look at the coaster specs now, that, it's not an amazing yeah. coaster. It does guys. have a special version, though, which is only on this coaster. It's like a I don't know, some sort of tongue version, I don't know what it's called. But yeah, it's a but it's a full experience. Oh, the coaster, cool. the theming, the queue line, yeah. and in particular, the audio of that ride is something else. For any Star Wars fan out there, head on there, because that yes. moment you leave the station and the boom starts to play. It literally gives you tingle. I'm not a massive Star Wars fan, I love Star Wars. I think it's really good, and obviously Galaxy's Edge is phenomenal. One of the fair in the world. But I wouldn't be a hardcore Star Wars fan. No. But I'm a hardcore Disney fan, definitely, but being able to get in there and experience that gets you so immersed in the experience when the screens are okay. I know we are massive fans of the screens yeah. and rides. I think they have to be used for You know, they're used pretty well there. Yeah, how else can, you, have, can see them. How else can you fly along the Millennium yeah. Falcon? I mean, to so, be honest, it's either going to be that or just completely like a black wall. Yeah, because so. especially on coasters, putting actual feeling is a lot harder. Like yeah. indoor ones, and you think about rides like that as well as Gardens of Galaxy Cosmic Rewide, because all the structures in place and things like that, it makes it a lot harder to put is, in actual yeah, theme and piece yourself. It's been quite a while ago as well now. Like it's, it's edging quite like quite a few years now. This has been. Yeah, I remember we came in 2017 from our first vlog yeah, on the channel. In fact, that was, that was it was my so. first time riding. So it might have been around then. So and of course it was Space Mountain mission too. Yeah, I exactly. previously did that. I can't remember what it's called, but I know it was some sort of Space Mountain before that as well. So. And a little story for you guys as well. I never actually got to ride Mission 2 and I went here actually when I was tall enough I got in the queue We've line and I got, got over the mix. Exactly, I got over here, I measured myself and I was tall enough to do it and I was like I won't do this trip but I'll do it next trip but next time I came along which was like half a year later we are refurbishing it towards other mountains so the lesson of that is if you want to do a ride don't yeah. put it off because I regret to the very day not doing Mission two over here, so I was just saying to Tom actually, like we've done rides now, like Steel Vengeance, Fury Duty 5, of course, over in the United States, and even though they came to the best roller coasters in the world, I think that Disney coasters are a different sort of yeah. fun. It's so hard to rank them Disney. because it's like yeah. because it's like that sort of ride yeah. like Big Thunder Mountain. Exactly. It's hard to de compare with the coasters, it's so enjoy different. I stuff like Big Thunder Mountain more than I like, do Steel Vengeance, but in a different way. It just it just works differently, and that's why I think Disney's just so amazing. It's very unbelievable and that coaster still to this day is pretty smooth and you know it's amazing and they do maintain it incredibly well there as well. Yeah but one ride to the next we can't stop now our day we're over here at Buzz Lightyear Astro Blaster and this ride is known for getting some of the longest queues out there so if you're heading in early hours I'd highly suggest taking a ride in this because it's a fast moving queue but it's, it can be quite a long it's time. somehow getting quite a long Yeah exactly yeah. I and mean, you get like 60 minutes or so it's a very popular yeah. ride as well but the queue line you probably can't sit down there, which is a full castle plane down there, and there's some key lines. I've done it before. Like, <laughs> like Big Thunder Mountain is a funky up beer. Oh, yeah, no, it is, yeah. Big Thunder Mountain is a great queue. Yeah, it's, it's a great queue to be in, it's great rock work, great overwhelming in the queue line, whereas this one, it looks like great to stand in. It's got more theme in the But the ride is fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to film it or not this time, so I want to play it the highest score I can. But if I do, there you go. And if I don't, I'll show you some clips on the queue line. Command to coordinate the mission. Battle stations. Hey, 198,500. I'm a space ranger. Oh yeah, let's go. We have just had a ride on Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, and what an incredible ride is that one over there. So much fun. So competitive as well, if you're like me. And overall, yeah. an absolutely phenomenal attraction. It's a great attraction. Like, it really is. I love Buzz Lightyear. Ladies Blast, I think it's called. But you know, it's a great ride. As I, I mean, I was thinking personally, it's a good ride. It should, there are a couple of improvements that I think they can make to it, definitely. Because obviously nowadays, it's Disney. I mean, they're doing incredible stuff, like Rise of Resistance, of course, or Hollywood Studios, and also Disneyland. But you know, it's still a great dark ride, and I mean, it's Disney. Like, that's what I need to say. It's a great ride. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a great ride. And one thing in particular I really like about attraction is that you don't have to pay it. Like, you went on and you didn't even play the game, did no, you? No, no, totally. I, you know, I just enjoy dark rides. I just sit there, take it all in, just enjoy it a bit. Exactly. You no, know, you can still do that. And that's one thing I love about this. Because a lot of parks, like, when you start to do that on pretty much every dark ride you go on, a lot of parks, uh, there's pretty much theming apart from the actual 
by it thing itself, when you also don't notice because you're actually shooting. Exactly. But when you're not, the people who don't want it, and I know it's quite rare, <laughs> but the people who don't want it, they've still got something, and that's why I love it. Exactly, exactly. And even that feeling right here, that smoke is coming out of a teepee. A little immersiveness. So maybe you won't even notice them walking down here. But that's what makes Disney so, so amazing. And little details, and of course, the big details, like Big Fun and in right in front of me, and makes this place so amazing. But I do apologise for not feeling on it. I wanted the person to play the game. Adam wanted to just enjoy it, just enjoy it. <laughs> and overall decided not to film in it. But while we are on the topic of filming, I bring up at the start of every single Disney vlog, as Disney out of all the parks are the hardest ones to know and film. And as a vlogger, of yeah. course, if I could, I would take you on the rise itself. But some people think you can film in every ride, yeah. some people think you can go on film on no rise. The, the staff don't off. even know. No. But the way we go off. The way we go off is you're allowed to film with your phone on any ride apart from the, the thrill, thrill rise, rides, yes and on the app i think it's called big rides and yeah. you want apart from there which is you know, well, what's big so rides but the mountains off but pie sky beans on there stuff like that yeah and, and so both like you be like, to exactly it. i think the camera i think you can get away with it on big Thunder mountain and i think they do allow it possibly but we just don't risk it i just stick to like family rides because i i've actually emailed them before and said oh yeah what can you film yeah we've tried said, to contact them yeah and they have said to us like any ride which is a family or kids ride you can't film on, so exactly I, I sort of just take that so that's how, that's how we work on the basis of a big one man unfortunately we will not film for you and we do head on to it right now but otherwise life has kind of been yeah. which is definitely good later on that's one of my favorite rides and always got a short queue of course we will film on it for you guys coming down here now through the land i'd say of coco it kind of feeling this area towards yeah. which is really nice yeah. i do love it i love it as well i don't know if it's better christmas decks but i'm assuming it probably is yeah, I don't remember seeing it last time. Uh, I wonder if it's Halloween yeah. stuff still out. Maybe. I don't know. I think it, they have some different stuff in Halloween. It, like, no, it's very yeah. similar. Yeah, it works out. I'm obviously trying to theme. Yeah, I'm just like so. trying to theme Christmas to like each nation sort of thing. Yeah, so, I really like it, but I think it works really well. Instead of theming it, like, I know it's sort of Coco, but sort of not. It's like the Mexican culture. And I think instead of theming these whole things, to Coco, like they've been doing a lot of IPs lately. What is it? Um, just that's so nice. Want to see? Yeah. Um, yeah, just theming it to like sort of just its own theme but then have special events where you do have some extra IP theming. I think that works quite well, but I think it really works. And a quick hit of Mickey as well for you guys, I just want to go down. Here we go, have a look at it there. If we're in Florida in particular, it's just like that. There's a hill Mickey, if you just sit through there, there. There you go. But yeah, the staff's so nice here. The theming is amazing. There's a lot more Christmas decks and mainstream USA than anywhere else, which works because you wouldn't expect to have much Christmas decks in the world left. So yeah, there's a lot down for, here. So exactly. And one nice. thing that Paris has, unlike any other park on the planet, is if you get it at exactly the right time, unfortunately you can't plan this, yeah. but it snows. Coming in the snow with the Christmas decks is the best experience. We've done it before. Yeah. I don't think we should going to get snow, unfortunately. No, but I'm not sure. But I mean, they do sometimes have snow machines. So I know it's obviously not real snow, but it's, it's, it's such a cool idea. And I, I know they have it especially in Disneyland and Anaheim. And yeah. I think they also have Walt Disney World as well, Magic Kingdom. But if they do it here, that's quite nice, thank you. But I'm not sure. I think they probably will. But we'll obviously have to wait until it's well. snow here. Sometimes it's just very good. Exactly. Oh, so if it is snowing, make sure, obviously, to head down and experience it in the snow. Maybe harder to drive up, Sorry, but it is another experience. It's like look at this so little thing. I know, it's so so cool. But we're gonna go away now through the queue. The main people are mainly gonna get in in a sec, I think. Oh yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, about 23 minutes. 23 minutes time, so we've got a few more little rides to jump on before every single other guest, apart from obviously park guests and annual passes, get into the park. But this time, you have to wake up early. Yeah. But you can get so much done, as you can see right now. Yeah, it's like English time, we woke up at 5 o'clock this morning. Obviously French time is 6. So you do have to wake up early, considering we actually only got to the hotel last night uh, around 11 o'clock in French time. So we didn't have long to sleep. But, you know, school, was that? Yeah, yeah, after school. But you know, we're back up there again and it's incredible. And I will leave place. you with our last name, it does go down there. The American Hoist and Derek Co. My name's Son Derek, and that's Derek. Very proud of it, on a Disney ride. Just took a ride on the wildest ride in the wilderness, and out of all the big fun right. that we've been on across the three Disney parks, that's going to be the best. Yeah, I mean, we have, I mean, the only one we haven't done yet it's is Tokyo. Like, in Tokyo Disneyland. Yeah. And personally, I believe that that was the best, but as we said, we will be experiencing another one just next month, so it's just exactly. Pretty cool. 
but you, well, of course revisiting one. But you know what, that coaster is incredible. For me, what makes that coaster so great is the theming. I mean, honestly, it's just insane. Like, the coaster itself is still good fun, don't get me wrong, but like, we actually got the Row 3 Car 1, and there's a big thing about that, because I know a lot of aerodynamic coasters, for any of you out there who know that uh, company, of course, uh, yeah, the, on them posters, if you get car 1, row 3, the airtime is the best. In my opinion, that works the same. I know it's all about aerodynamics, but it's a great coaster. It is a solid coaster. If really... you don't really care about that, it's still a solid coaster. Exactly. The theme is amazing once there. again. Getting underwater is really, really awesome. When you do go underwater as well, unlike one over at Florida and California where you don't, Florida and California as well, on this one over at Paris, you go completely under the water. Oh, yeah. Some great elements, free lift as well, three seconds of ride. The operations once again is impeccable. Yeah, and, and overall, it is fantastic. But just before we continue, I don't want to pause over now. I know this is nothing to do with Paris, but recently California have announced the updates of their treehouse. Yeah. And I'm really, really happy. Really, really, pleased with that. really, really happy it's not themed towards another film because they've yeah. got a lot of eyes that they film towards films. But we're getting at the authenticness. They're actually going oh, they back, are. which yeah. is even better, towards the offender that it used to be from Walt Disney's imagination. So that's really, really awesome. But now the park is officially open to everyone. So it's going to start getting a little busier now. Because the crowd's going to go big front of the mountain. So for our final ride, before we're talking about that part of the cabin, is Indiana Jones. One of the best rides in hip hop. Very underrated as well. And of course, it's Indiana Jones at the Temple of Nepal. Yeah, it's I've got that sort of right there. But yeah. you know, it's a great ride. I love yeah. this place. It's a fantastic ride. And a 10 minute queue as well. Because later on, it can build up yeah. long goo. It can. One of the only coasters that got two stations. Yeah, exactly. And it's a weird ride, this one. Because it can sometimes get really yeah. long queues. But also, as well, it can stay pretty low. Yeah. It's, it's just a brand new hit or miss, really. Yeah, you've got, you could obviously got one station. So when it gets longer queues, it can quickly go right down again. Yeah. It's very, very like, unsure on what the crown's going to be like, but yeah, guns again. Theming is amazing. We're over here, but I think we're going to go to the parts cabin and then we're going to continue our day. That's our ride. Well, you're probably but... getting fed up with the theming right now, but you know, we just can't exaggerate now. It's so, so good. Like, yeah. I can't say how good it is. Especially Paris, even Paris and Dick, I think. I think it Magic is, Kingdom, yeah. Magic Kingdom's got a lot of theming, but it's the scenery and theming that Paris I has. I do prefer this than Magic Kingdom, I've got to be honest. I do prefer yeah, this. I it's know, a yeah. great part. Right? Yeah, yeah, Magic Kingdom's got the theming, but he's got the scenery too. That's something that Paris really emphasizes on, is Magic the beautifulness Kingdom. of the park. Yeah, and of course, well, Magic Kingdom is. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But here now go, next ride on the Indian Jones. It's such a good morning and it's only continuing. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril. What a ride is that? It feels disappointing. It may be a little rough, and when you go on it, you'll only feel the roughness and intensity of it. But it's such a great ride. I mean, especially for a part of Disney, which very much focuses on the family attractions. That one upside down ride. It's pretty crazy. I can't even think of any other dies over here that go upside down. Yeah, there is Hobbs's Mountain. Hobbs's Mountain, there you go, another one. But this park, I think, is the park with the most inversions in any. Magic Kingdom style park out there. So, of course, the main park and pretty much every Disney resort basically. Yeah, and it's, them. Yeah, it's very, very unique one as well. And it, maybe in situations like that, it's quite a hard one to find because you're going to get a venture down. Like, I didn't even know this was here until a few years ago. I mean, I've been here probably 17, 18 times in my lifetime yeah, right now. We've been a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's only even trips, not even like days, trips over here. But I never really knew about that was there until a few years ago. So yeah, and this era, and that sort of follows in this era. First, yeah, that ride's a great ride. I mean, it's it's shaky, yes, but adds to it. Too. It just adds to it, and that's the thing. And we're not just saying to do off this it really just does add to it. Um, but you know what? This area that just follows on to what you just said. This area, recent before a couple of weeks, couple of weeks, well, come on, yeah. but really until about February, we didn't realise how good adventure and yeah. it was. And in February, we came down. And like, oh wow, this is incredible! Yeah, it's home to two attractions. It's home to. Uh, part of the Caribbean, as well as the Jones, and you could yeah. count the Aladdin experience, but I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> but I think that works though. This, I mean, I've looked at many of them before. This area works so well because you've got the pirate sort of, I think, it's, I can't recall now, but it's like Adventure Isle, I think. Yeah. And then you've also got, oh yeah, like the sort of Indiana Jones style area. More adventures of yeah. And then you've got the Aladdin. But it all has, I think, got a bit of and it's yeah. worked so well. Yeah. Making it like, one of the best you've in the planet. So if you go over here, it could be the best. Uh, I think it is. I always find it hard. I find it hard to consider. We're obviously, I was in Cars Land, you're one of the best as well, oh, over so California. Cool. And as well as the guys, this age is amazing as well. But I think, Pandora, the world, I'm Pandora, I think it's only totally good land. But I think for me, this land like, overtakes Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I, I think it definitely overtakes Pandora, the world of Avatar. Yeah. 
superb. In terms of guys, he's edge. I don't know, it's so close, but I do love this area. I think we need to get a band in California. Go, of course, experience that one again. Um, but it could be. I think I'm proud of the Florida one. But I think California is just above. I don't know why. Because they're basically the same area. Maybe it's the weather. <laughs> Maybe it's the weather. But Maybe. this land here is unbelievable. Parts of Kevin's World is a standout attraction, I'm saying this land. Oh, yeah. It's an amazing ride. It's like it? a movie set, isn't it? It really is. Like, we're here, and some things you just don't notice. You've really got to look around over here at every little detail. And kind of one day is great. But one of our things to do here is explore. And we'll show you later on in the vlogs. Yeah. And we're going to and show you. But there's so oh, many things here to yeah. do. There's so many great atmospheres as well as just the rides. Those two rides, experience it. And I know we're just doing rides on our ride, but later on, as I said earlier, we will be doing other stuff as well. But when it's all nice and quiet, it's good to go on there. This is so much more of an experience that like you said. And I think it's, it's not only a two day park at night. I know we were literally spending two days here. We've been here many times before, and that's why we are in here. Yeah. How have we done that many more times? There you go. <laughs> so perfect time to say four days probably. Maybe longer, but it's now. Oh, yeah. perfect, time, perfect time here for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, very true, very true. But I say four yeah, days, yeah. and when they finish off doing all the rest of the rides over in Hollywood, in Walt Disney Studio Park, yeah. then I'll probably take you a whole week here. I think it. yeah. I, I mean, it's so dope. Both of these parts are really, really good. And I can get up by now and get stronger and stronger gears. Yeah. Well, of course, we've all seen Avengers come first. Like, yeah, I think, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you know, first thing, it smells in here. I was going to say, I wish it smell centre because it smells awesome. Yes, but once again, always a really short queue for this ride. Not because it's not popular, because of our unbelievable operations. And we're going to take you on this one. Here we now go. On to parts of the cabin. Oh, I love it. One of my favourite rides here. <laughs> Great ride, tick, and an absolutely awesome experience, tick. That was part of the Caribbean, and get yourself one. It's the only one I can say. My favourite ride, in fact, over at Disneyland. And I think from last it's year we were done out. Yeah. Starting off in that amazing land, Adventureland, which is just behind me over there. Then you get onto the ride itself, the queue line immerses you into it, and then the ride itself. Literally worth kind of describing. The camera out of all the rides here at Disney doesn't do justice to that attraction back there. It's very dark, but it adds to the experience. But on the camera, it doesn't really pick it up, so I hope what I filmed was okay for you guys. But unlike that queue there, which is definitely not okay for you, I'm like, that ride has such a short queue and it didn't yeah. deserve a short queue. However, I, I want to point out as well operations. Now, I mentioned that earlier, but operations yeah. affect everything over here at Disney. As you can probably guess, as you buy a crowd, Disney is a very popular place very, and very, very popular. a lot of people. I don't remember being... the most popular park in the whole of Europe. So. Yeah, it's like, I can't remember the number of people who are allowed in the park each day, yeah. but you get thousands upon thousands of guests over here to Disney. I mean, so, queues can be quite big. And for rides like, for example, Dumbo over there, as well as Peter Pan's flight, and some small ones around here like Pinocchio, yeah, yeah it may have a half an hour or you know, I've got like 120 minute queue, yeah. but it does not mean that that's because there's most people in the queue line. Because there are parts of the Caribbean, has two stations, they all was operating today, but it has two stations. You then have like 
I don't know, 20 people per boat, yeah. 40 people, a dispatch instantly, no lap bar, so you're instantly off. So you're looking at roughly 40 people per minute. Where on Dumbo, you're looking at around 20 cars, two people, 40 people, goes on for two minutes. So you're looking at 40 people every like, and doing offload now and boarding again every four or five minutes. So That's that is why queues like that get a lot longer because it's slower operations, but not if because they're popular. You did want to get on Peter Pan's flight, you know, and you did actually want to go over a short queue. The biggest tip we have, head to early magic car, yeah. head straight there. And you mean, and by don't early, stop, just head straight there. And, yeah. and by early we mean you go right in front of a queue line, get it straight yeah, there. Yeah, you had to wait to the gate for the park side, for the park line. Yeah, because I'll tell, we did your tip, but we didn't get it on time. You've got to, when we do these tips, you've got to make sure to get there straight away, because if we need like 10 minutes, even when we were today, we were a little bit further back. Yeah. I can make a difference between having like a five minute and a half an hour queue yeah, line that ride. Yeah. And if you go half an hour and only magic hours, you're missing out on all these amazing tracks that we've done so far. It's like 10 o'clock right now, isn't it? Yeah. French time. Yeah, it's literally about 10 22 right now. So it's pretty, we've done pretty well, to be honest. Yeah. We've done every major attraction we wanted to do in this park already. Right? <laughs> Yeah. Um, but you know what, it did do so much more than just the attraction. Like, 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 yeah. yeah, exactly. Just like all the different experiences, like the little chairs down there. Just, it's incredible, this place. Yeah, it's it's awesome. really And the but, bins as well. Like, but clearly, like, we didn't do why we didn't even think we were going to do it. We first planned to come here, we were like, what rides are we not too fussed about? And we were obviously La Place de Card de Fees, whatever that is, I'm sorry for my pronunciation. That one is not our number one party. And that will, if we do that one on this trip, we've done incredibly well on rides. Yeah. But Casey Junior, we didn't actually expect us to massively do this one on this trip because it is one of the smaller rides at the park, it's another coaster crowd as well. Any of you looking for one? Well, we've done it many times now. And it was actually one of my first ever coaster crowd. It, it may have been my third one, I think, but maybe even second. Like, yeah. It was a very early on in my coaster park, but you know, it's a great coaster park. I love this. Yeah. It's only a family ride, so if you're going to do parking and you're looking for thrills, yeah, it's not probably the best for you. However, I think it's probably the only ride in Disneyland and it goes backwards. Yes, it is, yeah, because you can actually get a backwards seat. On. One seat, one seat. You, gotta, so, you can't really go to Disney for seats, but no, if you're lucky it enough. You can be in any Disney park. Yeah. Only backwards thing. I was in and chose to go backwards, but. Yeah, but no, that's not that, so I don't know. It could be the only Disney backwards. Well, as you can, Crash Coast, obviously, but. Yeah, you could get that, actually. You could spin it spinning, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're not hundred sure. However, we are now making our way down towards Casey Junior, Le Petit Train du Cirque, and this is what The music's playing, very relaxed, not more relaxed than parts of the Caribbean for our next attraction. So off we go, choo choo. Off we go, on Casey Junior. Give me a choo choo, Adam. There you go. Oh, you're doing one too. <laughs> <laughs> The circus is coming back and hopefully Small World will come back soon as well in a bit but one thing I'm definitely not doing is waiting 120 minutes for a princess pavilion. Right now it has got a 120 minute queue. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean me and Mickey, princess pavilion gets very, very long because I think it's a great experience yeah. and you'll probably meet a few princesses in there too where you'd hope so for 120 minutes. But the queue is unbelievable. In my eyes, one of these characters have a character breakfast. I mean, you go there, we went there last time, it was like 25 quid each, which is not cheap. Yeah. But over here in Paris, you get like a buffet breakfast and you get like six or seven characters come round to you and you get to experience it before even the park opens if you want to. Yeah. Before we You can do it during the day or even before when you walk up to the USA and experience this place before even the park opens for early hours. So it is really, really amazing. It's a great experience and Overall, I'd rather do that than I'd say waste 120 minutes to wait for the princes down there because I mean, it's a lot of It's nice like, the United States. For us, I mean, we're just like all about the atmosphere. And I don't even think, oh yeah, the rides. No, I mean, I'm more about the atmosphere than the rides. Like, just enjoying the park theming, the soundtracks, everything like that. But I know a lot of people do love crowd interactions. So if you do love that, I mean, yeah, maybe worth it for you. But Good game. But I love you, man, if you want to do that, get there straight away. I don't care. Oh, yeah. oh, get there straight away. Yeah. The further into the park, 
and stand there because even if it doesn't open until like the main park opens, you're only waiting half an hour or an hour. Yeah. Much better than actually waiting two hours. So good look at that as well. But Casey Junior, how did you find it? It was alright, it's great. I mean, I do enjoy that coach. I mean, it's definitely thrilling, but you know, it's still a really fun one. I believe it was on first coach as well. It's yeah. definitely more like a fast oh, yeah. train. It's good also, as well, it's a very unique coaster. It's only become a power coaster. There you go. Which is actually a manufacturer, if you don't know, uh, of that makes roller coasters basically. Um, but you know, it's a fun ride and it's, yeah, I think it's quite good. I mean, it's not intense or anything like that, but you know, it's just good fun and it just works with the theming. Exactly. And there's basically any kids as well who haven't really queued it, my dad was saying the queue line. It hasn't got an awful long queue, but it helps to learn to queue, if you know what I mean. So if you have kids and take it along, you want to see how to queue for obviously the bigger ride. It's a perfect start to ride, not only to have a fun ride, but also to learn how to queue. You can have a theme park atmosphere instead of just seeing the characters too. But now making our way around, we're gonna have a second lap around here, passing Main Street USA once again over Christmas Dex, which still really really does blow its way towards Star Tours and Funny enough, I'm part of Caribbean, I don't think I mentioned it, but we were actually looking at what one stuff to do because obviously we've been a few times so we do know which ones we want to do, which ones we don't want to do, but we're having a quick peek at the queue times and like what rides are still left for us to do before we then go towards our sandwich in the middle of the day. And I think we came to the conclusion that we want to do Star Tours and Haunted Mansion definitely. But of course along the way, it's stuff like Autopia for example, that may have a short queue to money that one or a ride like that as well. So we'll have a look around, we'll do those rides. Plus, we're also going to in the shop as well, for one, because the best time to go in the shop, obviously, is not at the start of the end of the day, but the middle, because yeah. go at the end of the day, you can't have that full looking experience. That's what you need to the shop as well. You want to experience. The shop is an experience, and you want to be able to experience the shop too. But here we go, up into space once again, not this time though, on High Vis Mountain, but on Star Tours. Enjoy the tour, guys. Now, I do not want to give away too much guys, but we may just help the resistance. Yes, that was Star Tours, and once again, film was not allowed on that attraction, but they made it very clear at the start, which was extremely helpful. However, the ride itself, really solid attraction. One thing that's really nice in particular about Star Tours is there was different sequences. So the one we had today, despite us riding it quite a few times in our childhood, we never had, and because it was feeding towards uh, Force Awakens, so you got all those characters yeah. in there. What's the best, I would say? I thought it was in my opinion. Oh, did you? you I, probably, I think it is probably the best. Better than that queue line for that yeah, one I just said earlier. Yeah. Um, but I think it's probably the best, uh, yeah, sort of short clip that I've ever had on there. Oh, cool. It's a great ride. I mean, of course, everyone has different opinions, but, you know, I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, it. It's a good ride. I, I really enjoy it. I do think it was a little bit out of place in this park, but to be honest, I think this is got oh, no, really and good. just, I don't know, it's, it's not the best area. Like, of course, I love this area, but I feel like they shouldn't have brought in Star Wars into this area. I feel like they should have kept Space Mountain and Space Mountain Mission 2, and also Dolph. I think they just shouldn't have had Star Wars, because if, be exactly, if they ever built Galaxy's Edge, like, it's just going to look a little bit weird. Yeah, you have oh, yeah. Space Mountain there, you have Star Wars there, and the other part, you have Galaxy's Edge. I don't know, but I yeah, do. You can't get the same as the one over in it is, yeah. Florida. And Florida, Hollywood Studios is there. I don't really like Florida. Hollywood Studios is there. You literally have Galaxy's Edge and you walk out of the land, walk a little bit further down, and then you have Star Wars. I That's literally have like a three or four minute walk, but it's yeah, a bit weird. But of course, it would be a different time, so you understand why it happened. But I think Star Wars as a whole wise, it won't be long until it changes. I think, no. take it to start. But of course, wise, this is kind of like those solid attractions. It's not going to be long till they start decaying around the world, but they were a great family, they've been here for a long time as well. Oh, yeah. So I've been multiple sequences again, but they've experienced really, really fun. So we've got it again today, we are very different, and even languages. So yeah, no. sometimes, obviously, depending on what country you're from, you're lucky if you get your language on the ride. So we they do change it up. We had French and Simon, and you have English, so it's all lovely. Language yeah, differences yeah, are. Yeah, definitely. I've got, of course, I, I presume they may have Spanish and uh, Italian. Yeah, possibly. I know, I know there's definitely English and French for yeah. anyone who is. Yeah, but what's not as well actually, I know the whole language difference is 
unusual, but it is quite nice at the same time to experience the other languages. Oh yeah, it is, yeah. It's quite interesting actually, because you don't really understand it anything they've said, but it's quite funny. Yeah, this is random. Yeah, but it's pretty cool though. Yeah, exactly. We're crossing over here, once again in the main street, we will be heading down and exploring the shops in a bit, where it does get a little busy when the rides. But for our next attraction, we're heading back over into Frontierland for Phantom Manor. And a fun fact as well for you guys, this Phantom Manor is actually set, as I said earlier, in Frontierland. So on the ride itself, there's a few little unique bits and references towards the Frontierland theming. I know in the other parts it's not actually located in that sort of area at all. So it's very unique, very unusual, but at the same time, it is a really, really awesome looking building and the ride itself definitely does not disappoint either. So we're going to go and wait for this car again to pass before we head on to it's the Phantom Manor. So awesome. Or maybe not, as if you can see the queue right behind me. Especially with Phantom Manor, this is a pretty long queue line. And despite it moving quickly, and um, that's actually doing it if it was a little bit early on in the day. We were just waiting quite a long time for Star Tours. And then, kind of here, also quite a long queue. We thought now is the perfect time for us to look in the shops at the prime business of the day. And if you want to know when that is, Really, to be honest, it is anywhere now -ish because yeah, basically for 11 30 to around 2 o'clock. Because, like... because what you have is you have a people who arrive early, like we do like 8 30, they normally stay normally until like 2 ish or 3 ish, and they might go around that sort of time. But you have people who arrive at like 11 o'clock, you say to the end, so that time between 11 and 2 ish is the busiest time of the park where you literally get no one leaving because everyone's here, but they start to cane off from around 2 or onwards. So if you're over here, Make sure you try to avoid that time, whether you go in the shops, whether you watch a show, whether you just sit down and have some lunch, it's up to see what you want to do in that time. But rides definitely do get the busiest around that sort of time. Oh, so yeah. what we like to do, and then of course if you want to try it as well, give it a go because it's really good fun. We normally like to leave the entire park. So what we do is we head down this little sneaky pathway, which no one ever knows about, but it's a life save, especially Sorry. on the fireworks. But basically we head down here, we either look in the shops, then we go out the park, and from then on we either eat in a nice restaurant, like for example today, we're going to have Earl Sandwich, the best sandwich place on the planet. But then in addition to that, we also sometimes look around the hotels, because the resort hotels here are all behind downtown Disney, I'm gonna call it, it's not Disney Village, sorry. Disney Village. Uh, my mistake, yeah. All behind Disney Village, so we can also run the hotels. Where are we next day? I don't know, because we've been here for two days, and really one and a half days. So we may not look around the hotels, but we may as well, but you can do that sort of stuff, or you can send the park as well, meet the characters like that, or watch the parades, which are normally on during this time. So just be aware of that when we get to the middle, but Christmas characters are out, we're now going to have a look at some Christmas shops, and so you want merch, there is to offer over here at Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Well, there you go, from a quick look over the Christmas stuff down all of the Disneyland stores. And I want to point out as well, there's not only Christmas decks, I'm mainly filming them because I want to show you what there is to offer, but there's also the generic Disney stuff as well. So if you are coming here during an event, especially like Christmas or Halloween, you are going to be able to get all of your favourite stuff oh, yeah. for the event, but also the generic stuff as well, which is pretty awesome at the same yeah, time. Cool. Yeah, I said. It's so nice to all the Christmas decorations are on there. I know. Well, it's the merchandise as well. Exactly. You'll be telling you that you can't always get a rise. They sell an offer on the Disney store, especially for each country, you better get these. For being here, we'll see it in person, um, all of these teddies and price wise, all limited. limited. How much is it? 50? 50 uh, euros? 30. Oh, 30, that's not too bad. When you go, it's loads edition, it's pretty damn Paris. Yeah, so, yeah, it's very, very cool. It's not down here. The whole store stretching all the way down, even when you go past the end of this job and into the other ones, there's even more down there. So be aware when you are coming here, for some quality time looking. As I mentioned earlier, later on today, when you get to the night time, they control how many people get in here because of how busy it is. And when you're inside of here, I mean, you're literally crammed together walking around. Whereas now, even though it is busy, especially because it is the starting day of Christmas over here at Disneyland Paris, it is going to be busy, but at the same time, there's a lot more space to look around, see how it's to offer, and make a few purchases. Or if you want to wait later on today, then you can always come back in the evening for the main focus of purchasing what you want instead of having to look around. And mum's looking at the telly, there you go. She's standing here, your telly, and you walk as well. I thought you were going to pick up the Ewall one there. But yeah, they are so cool. There's so many awesome teddies, so many different awesome Disney themed characters. So if you're a fan of a character, maybe you're a fan of a group, you can get them over here. Oh, yeah, okay.
currently it is only 12 o'clock and we are leaving Disneyland Park after an absolutely amazing visit. And that's where you're going to be going, is this your last time leaving? No, it is not our last time leaving at all. We're going to be entering back in this evening to experience even more magic as it comes tonight. However, as I said earlier, right now our aim is is to head over to the oil sandwich, have some lunch, bear in the other park, experience Avengers Campus for our first ever time, and so, so much more. But what are this quite literally incredible music? Just a little is, hint to our next trip on the channel, by the way. Yes. So, <laughs> what are this quite literally incredible music is playing? Adam, how have you found today so far? Oh, it's been amazing. I love this land park. Of course, I will give my four of you at the end, but. There's just so many rides, it's been crazy, but yeah, that part's amazing. I love yeah, it. So, quick going through the rides, okay? We started at the Mountain, then we went over towards Buzz Light Days Bus, we both have an hour long queue, yeah. then we went over towards Big Thunder Mountain, then we went over towards Indiana Jones, then we went over towards Parts of Calabria, then we did Casey Junior, and then we just started towards, and that is not even including all the time that we stopped to like, do a bit of filming, to have a little yeah. rest the toilet breaks, as well as across exploring the shops and the area. First everyone, I'm just gonna quickly get my phone out to prove to you guys the time. Because it sounds crazy right now. Oh, you got it on your phone, yeah, there you go. It's just gone 12. 12.10, 10. literally 12.10 right it's now. Crazy. It's absolutely bonkers how you can get so much done this time. Yeah. People who are entering right now, I mean, yes, I have to wait to go through the queue lines to get in the park, but each queue line is like an hour longer now. It is, it's crazy, but you know, it's always, it was, it's always worth it, because that park, as we said, is incredible. Yeah. Of course, it is definitely incredible. But I mean, you know, it's just, you know, it's just such a nice park. And something about that I'm going to talk about right now, it's such an important thing to be experienced for a lot of people don't realise. It's the floor. That's the floor. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look, at, oh, look how smooth it is. It's just, like, every it time. I, I don't know why I was upset. I mentioned every single vlog. Yeah. We stopped at the Views and Parish Park. Look at this part here. It's so, it's so glossy smooth. It's never got a single litter on. So it's nice. just so well done, okay? We, have, we haven't got the greatest of parks inside of the UK, I'll be honest. I mean, so we've got, got some decent ones, but I mean. Because we're not that great. They're not that busy. We're not this level in terms of theming, and it's not like Cedar Point level in terms of ride. So you don't really yeah. get either of the two ends. But being over here, look at this lovely feel, look at this lovely atmosphere, it's absolutely amazing. And such as well, as well as Disney, we'll have a look in as well, so let's see what decks there are, yeah. and so, so much more. But right now, we're heading over off towards Earl Sandwich to get one of the best sandwiches in the planet. It's a good restaurant, yeah. It's a very good restaurant. Unfortunately, Joffrey's, which is over in the American park, is not over here for coffee with my parents are ashamed about. But hopefully I'll come along, but Earl Sandwich is at every single Disney park, as well as a few other places, I think it's in South Korea as well. Yeah. And they do the best sandwiches on the planet, no doubt about it. I mean, it's but, Disney, so. Yeah, of course, the sandwiches are so, so good. And if you come over here, don't spend lots of money over in the parks, buying food, waiting a long time, and then eating when it's crowded. Come over here towards Disney Village, do a little bit of shopping, and have an Earl sandwich. That's my suggestion, that's my other Tom tip. Tom tip number two of the day, have an Earl sandwich. Which is what we're gonna do right away. So let's head out through Disney Village, take some clips, and then have a sandwich, quite literally like no other. <laughs> There is nothing like sitting on a bench outside of all of Marvel after having an Earl sandwich. And guys, if you have not had one of those sandwiches before, please get one. It is only a 10 minute walk from no matter what park you are. And being able to have that sandwich, it is so delicious. You can get a foot long sandwich as well if you want. I think there's seven options, fully customizable. It is so, so yummy. And even if you don't want a sandwich, there's pizza, there's cookies, there's brownies. There are so many things you can have at Earl's Sandwich. So even if you only have it once, one of my biggest advice would be getting a sandwich from over at Earl's Sandwich. But one other thing we thought was really nice as well when we were over there is something that really people don't really know about over here at Disneyland. And that is that if you go a little bit further down Disney Village, it gets very quiet. And I mean, in the middle of the day, it is empty. At the start and the end, obviously it's packed. But in the middle of the day, down here, it is so peaceful. And to get out of that business of a park, which you are normally in, 
from like 8.30 to 11. It's so, so nice. Even if it's just down there to have a sandwich, it gives you a breather, it allows you to focus. You don't feel rushed eating it, there's no long queues. And overall, it makes a really nice break within your day. Even if you go back into the same park again, it is so, so nice. But I think right now is a perfect opportunity to show you something I've been wanting to show you all of today. And that is the Disneyland Paris app at Christmas. Because for the Christmas event, they have renewed the app. I'll quickly go into it down there. I hope you guys can see it. But as you can see over here, this is the Disneyland Paris app. And if you haven't downloaded it, this is a must do thing to download before you go. Because on here, you get all the queue times of the parks. You get absolutely everything, all the different areas, all the different places you can buy food, drinks. And also, if you have your own account, you can plan your own visit too. But over here at Christmas, I wanted to quickly show you what shows are on because there is a wide selection of shows over for the Christmas event, including no other than Disney Dreams, which is a special castle show in the evening, which we will definitely be showing you guys today. You've also got a Disney sing-along, which I don't think me and Adam are going to do because we're not that sort of people. And then we've also got Mickey's Dazzling Christmas Parade, which of course is a parade. And we'll try our best to get you showing that one because it is our time which we normally would stay in Walt Disney Studio Park for. But as it is on, and this is a special Christmas vlog as well, I thought it might be worth showing you that one later on. But on the app as well, we did know as well but there is awful long queues at the moment and with it not being two o'clock yet only being one o'clock we thought we'll do something we don't normally do over here on the channel and have a little bit of adventure around the hotels because at christmas time not only are the parks themed but as you'll better see in a bit when i take you back down disney village there is absolutely amazing christmas theming everywhere you look so one hotel in particular i want to see after watching all the cars films is santa fe as that is of course cars themed and knowing what other parks do with cars land and stuff I'm very excited. I'm quick looking there in one sec. So no further ado, we'll make our way down past Art of Marvel, then down over to War Cheyenne, and then finish off over at Santa Fe before making our way back over towards Walt Disney Studio Park to remain rest of the day there before we're finishing off the entire day back over at Disneyland Park. Wow, it has been amazing today. After a quick walk from where we just were, we have now made it over towards Santa Fe. And this walk, in fact, is actually my favorite walk over here at Disney. It is so scenic. And when you go to the end of it, you get two really, really awesome hotels. And I want to point out now, Santa Fe is the budget one out of all of them, but by no means that means the worst. I absolutely love a hotel. I've got a real obsession now, actually, of Cars films, because I've never actually seen them before. And then I watched them a few weeks ago, and I love them. I think they're really, really good. So now, I want to go to all the Cars areas, all the Cars hotels, all the themes like that, and be able to experience it once again, knowing now what I do know about the films. But a fun story while we were making our way down to the hotel itself, is actually, we used to stay in Cheyenne quite a lot when I was younger. And we used to get a bus in every time because we used to think that actually the walk there was like half an hour an hour. And in fact, a few visits ago, if you want to watch a vlog, it will be up there right now. A few visits ago, we had a quick look down the path, see what was down there. And actually we found that this hotel is probably like five minutes away from down there, the entrance to the park. So it is not far at all to get to these amazing hotels. So if you are staying here, even if you've got a push chair, it's all flat, just walk it. It's a nice walk. You can go two ways. You can go down this side of the river, which is a much bigger path, or you can go via the way down past Sequoia Lodge, which is a thinner, more wooded path. But whatever happens, you get literally to the park area in such a short amount of time. So if you're going over there, definitely do that instead of waiting an hour queue line for the bus. But here we now go up some steps. And before you all start questioning what we're we doing, we have a tradition when we go over here to Santa Fe to show you the best view that there is across the park. And one day when we do come here, maybe we do like a seven day to some time, we will go up here and show you the fireworks from up here. But no word of a lie, this is the best view, apart from of course, on the hair balloon that you can get across the whole of And it's all completely free. You make your way down here, follow the route we're heading on right now, few steps, I think there's a lift as well, but a few steps up to the top and you'll be able to get this absolutely phenomenal view. So we'll catch back up with you as we make it right up there. And we have made it up the stairs and going over to the view and it may look like a start ferry here, trust me it's not. The stairs allow you straight up here to access it, but have a look at this view guys. The trees are blocking the way, but if you look down here, you can see the Art of Marvel Hotel just through there. The balloon when it's up you can also see, see the entrance to Disney's Hollywood Studios 
just through there. I don't think I can fully get it for you as it blurry there. But you can see the ears on that. But you go all the way down here. Of course, you get a great sky view from over at Cheyenne. But then also across here, you can see just through the trees, you can see the Disney castle. Yeah, I'm sorry. And I imagine that when the fireworks shows on. Oh, I didn't know. As well, a high mountain over there. So what a great view is it across there. And of course, when you turn around here, you can also see you get the whole of Santa Fe as a view, there, which is really cool, actually. It is cool. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, honestly, I mean, this hotel, yeah, it may be like, I think it's maybe the cheapest one. I'm not sure. I think it probably but, is. I mean, you know what? It's still really nice and it's on site. So I'd love to stay one day. Yeah, I would. So any of the Disney on site hotels, I mean, we've seen all of them now and they're all really, really nice. And what was quite funny is we've actually been here so many times. And the first time I saw this was actually only earlier this year, which was crazy, but you know, it's a really nice hotel. Yeah, and the front of the front special about you see that billboard over there. But if you are coming to Disney, I'd highly, highly, highly suggest not staying in the other hotel. With partner hotels, yeah, they're, going, they're really good fun. But the Disney hotels, not only do they come with so many great perks with it, but you get to stay in the magic of it all. And that's what we felt with David Crocker yesterday when arriving uh, late in the evening. We weren't going in the park that day, but from the moment you arrive to when we do leave, unfortunately, tomorrow in like a few hours, it's been a really, really short stay. But from the moment you arrive to leaving again, you feel in that magic. The whole experience overnight when you wake up in the morning, knowing you're going in the parks, it is such a, such a nice atmosphere and one day I do wish you had to stay in all of these hotels give you a hotel vlog from each one and of course share my travels from over at Disneyland itself so if you are enjoying the video make sure to like subscribe and comment down below and I think I deserve to subscribe for the amount of steps I'm gonna have to do all I am right now when this hotel opened it couldn't have been themed Well, I may have mistaken Christmas with Halloween, so coming down here, there wasn't as much as I thought there was going to be, but at the same time, there's a few little nice Christmas dates around yeah. here, which we will show you, but being here is still no regret. This place is absolutely awesome. We were saying earlier, weren't we? We really love cars. Oh yeah, it's amazing. I mean, like, we only started watching it a couple weeks ago, but we watched every single film, it's so good. Like, I know. It's incredible. And we have to come back here. I mean, all oh, these yeah. merch, we recognise all the characters now, we recognise all the theming, and overall, it is such an awesome place, especially for any Cars fan. I would say, would we say we're Cars fans? Uh, I'd say probably. I don't know. I it's mean, it's, good it's my favourite Disney film, so in some sense, we say we probably are. But we were made in a lot of land here, as well as a shop in a fully themed hotel oh, towards yeah. the Cars franchise, which is really awesome. There's not many hotels like that around the world where it's themed exactly to one Disney film. Like, even out of Marvel, it's got to be a franchise, yeah, but it's yeah. not one particular well, film. Story. Story. Tokyo, oh, true. Uh, Shanghai, but I suppose they're pretty much the only one side. Yeah, exactly. It could be. But it is really awesome feeling, I said. Oh yeah, it's really nice. I mean, if you want to have another Cars hotel, I believe the only other one that actually features Cars is Art of Animation. Art of Animation or Disney World. Which is a section of it, which is a really cool section of it. Oh, yeah, awesome. I thought yeah. it's a bit cooler than this. No, but, but it's a nice effect. Here's, I've always wanted them to put like a proper like full experience cars hotel. Like it's something like really experience in Canada. Yeah, if you know about sort of land, I'm in a hotel like that. Like I said, one in our animation is really nice feels you've got one of the cars but you don't have it. My dad made a good point earlier, actually, and it's a really echoey room that we're currently standing. But my dad made a really good point, and that is that when this hotel was made, when obviously Disneyland Paris opened, Cars as a film wasn't around. So what would have been themed towards? That's a thing, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, to be honest, it looks like it did just used to be the same sort of hotel. Yeah, I imagine like looking at the poster down there, it's probably one of the original artworks of it. So yeah. maybe it feels like the American Out West I or something. I think they just had like a slight idea. I, I reckon this was like the art of Marvel, basically. I reckon they had a previous hotel here and they decided to add a little bit of theming to make it. Yeah, a maybe more Disney-fied and yeah. stuff like that. I know it's probably what it was, but... But it does look really awesome. And a quick menu look over here. Of course, we can't go in here yet. But here's a quick look of the menu. You want to screenshot it. Here's a little peek of all the food. And one other thing as well, because I love how it's all themed towards the cast characters, all the dreams like that. And one thing as well, that these hotels, especially these budget ones have, which other hotels don't have, is a Starbucks. It does, I know, and it's crazy. It depends. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's, just, it's pretty cool, it's got that. I mean, we'll come down and show you. We'll come and show you, we'll come bring you down. And there's a quick little yeah, peek inside of a shop. And with hotel shops, again, it has got theme and towards the theme itself, but of course, it's got a few little bits of Disney merch yeah. as well from around the park. Unfortunately, there's no pin badges though. I know. They used to sell them a lot more, I believe. 
Uh, I don't know what name would you can find though. If you if you had to do quite a lot in a static shop, I think that's probably where we found them the most last time. But we literally looked at every single one. <laughs> you love those characters. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, they're literally my favorite characters. I can't decide from that. Great characters. Great characters. I don't even know the name of them, but you know, they're Luigi amazing. Luigi and... Oh, that's it, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. And another one. See, all of them are absolute fans, but we love them. Oh, I mean, they're amazing. They are amazing. I think I passed the Toy Story post, which is a bit odd. Oh, as well as the lighter one actually down there. We're now going to head into Starbucks, show you some clips before continuing our day over here. We've heading over towards Disney's Hollywood Studios. I'm not going to be able to carry it and drink it. You're not there for long, are you? What? Oh, I'm not going to be able to carry it and drink it. Sequoia Lodge, Cheyenne, Sequoia Lodge. That is how close the hotels are together over here at Disneyland. It really is crazy how close it is. How people think they're so far away as well. Maybe it's something to do with that bridge that's over there. People might think you have to cross over a bridge, but there is an underpass there. The end of that park, you can really just see through there is where Disney Village is. It is honestly so easy to get to the hotels. And that's one of the biggest perks about these hotels in particular, unlike Davy Crockett, is that they're close to the park. They are, yeah, they're really close. And it's so nice, like, you literally have a nice little stroll down. Exactly, like woodland walk. Yeah, and the, if you're f the furthest, like, block away, it's probably about 20 minute walk, to be honest. It's not yeah, like exactly. Far, so. It's not far away at all. And it's a lovely walk as well. Oh, security yeah. as well is actually really handy because you do security before getting into Disney Village, meaning that you wouldn't have to go with the rest of the people who take the buses, who take the cars like we do. You get your very own security beforehand. Of course, it is smaller. So depending on what, how busy the park is in the day, it could be worse or better. But you can have a stroll, go through security, and overall, it is a lot nicer of a walk to be able to get down there. I want to show you that though, before we now head over towards Disney Village right away. Here you go, some Christmas steaks over at Sakura Lodge. I knew a hotel was gonna have some. And we have finally made it over to Disney Village. And I really thought it was worth showing you it. We kind of skipped past it when we were heading down to Earl's Sandwich earlier. And we've been completely free to get into, well, apart from the £30 car parking fee if you choose to get my car, or actually you get my train as well from Paris. It is absolutely amazing. We have all the Christmas decks down here, as well as, of course, the Disney theming, which is getting a little bit outdated now. I know they are doing a massive refurbishment to this area as we speak, with stuff like Cafe Mickey down at the end and making their way up all the way down Last Planet Hollywood. So, in the future, it'll be different, and I think it definitely is a refurbishment. But there are so many awesome little Christmas stalls go down here, as you can hear behind me. I saw some really loud but also very nice Christmas music. Really getting you in the Christmas atmosphere over here with some hey, fuck out this and all the different stuff over here. But yeah, Disney Village, awesome place to head down. Not as big as the other Disney Villages and Disney Springs as well. But overall, if you want to go shopping, get yourself down here. We might do it tomorrow as part of our getting out tomorrow. But today we're actually going to go shopping as well as just experiencing all the magic down here in the evening. I think it's until two o'clock. There will be many like shows going on over towards our stand there. And as you make your way down here, it obviously in the evening, everything does get a lot more magical. But right now it's starting to come busier, which means the parks are starting to come emptier. And we will promise you make it towards our final park before heading over towards the main park again, Walt Disney's Hollywood Studios. And for our second and final theme park of the day, we have got Walt Disney Studios. My personal least favourite Disney park, but I thought my opinion might change today as we're going to be heading into the one and only Avengers Campus. And the well, first, first one that we did, yeah. yeah, first ever time, and the first Avengers Campus we've done. We've heard both good and bad things about we've it. We've heard more bad. Well, oh, you have. I've heard more good because I've oh, yeah. heard a lot of people yeah. in America who say it's really, really good, and you've heard people in the UK who say it's not. So yeah. <laughs> it's up to your opinion, of course, and what you think. And I think yeah. it also depends yeah. on the fact as well is do you prefer the cat's interactions or the ride? I think that's a big thing as well. Yeah, and I mean, for us, we genuinely prefer the ride, but also, as I was saying earlier, for us, the main experience of there. Oh, this is very nice. I know, I was going to have a good evening. It's lovely. Our main, our main sort of focus is sort of like, the entertainment, the sort of how the part comes together. And I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to give a complete answer to mind. I've heard bad reviews, you've heard good reviews. And yeah, we've both heard bad reviews. But the best thing to do when you come in the park is he's like, oh, you just said, oh, yeah. open your mind, 
think it could be really good, could not be very good. And that's what we're going to find out, okay? We've yeah. seen the construction for it and we did a visit. But the Christmas eggs, Stan Stanley Cook, he's full guy. It's incredible. They, they do. Pretty good, so. They're really nice. Again, this is one of the most unique entrances to a theme oh, park. Yeah. Being able to actually enter into a building to it's enter the park. It's very rarely park. inside. Now, I know yeah. Tofu did that to undercover. This could be the only one where you're straight inside pretty much. Like. Yeah, so but then, you, but then you head through these doors and you come out looking right across at Tavda. How awesome that? Another one we're going to be heading on today. A little bit busier than usual at this park. We have arrived a little bit early. We normally come for the last two hours over here. It's normally required when people do start leaving because of a lack of things to do here. However, with the new land, our plan doesn't normally work this time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this time. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll keep, keep it counting rolling our first time reactions. Our friend Hugo, who is also on the channel, has been he's here. Seen it, yeah. and he's seen it, yeah. We always saw it in construction. I mean, not all of us saw it in construction. But then he actually came down here in August, I think it was. Uh, of course, whilst we're in America. And yeah, he actually saw it for the first time. So we've heard a little bit of information from him about it. Uh, he seems to like it, so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at it again. From first impressions, it looks cool, and again, me and Adam want to point out as well, I've seen no Marvel films, have you seen any? I've seen a couple, because I watched one on the plane to go to America last time, but uh, I haven't watched many. I've watched Spider-Man, I've watched Guns Galaxy, which obviously isn't really related to any of this, um, and I've watched Ant-Man and the Wasp, which is another one I've watched, but that's it. So, if you may be wondering, oh yeah, it's like, you haven't watched many, no, I haven't. <laughs> no, and again, I, I know I've got some friends who are really obsessed with it, so yeah, I do have some bits about it, <laughs> however, we are coming in here, with an open mind, I'm ready to see if I'm from first time reactions. I think it looks, I think it's really cool. I think already I've seen them character It was a bit smaller than that. Yeah. I got a bit, I do agree with you there. It feels like I thought it was going to be a lot more expanded when you go into it, but obviously, as you go through, the angels is very, very cool. The music is playing, building up the atmosphere. Yeah, it is, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice so far. I mean, I don't really get the hate of it so far. No. Yeah, it looks pretty good. As I say, it does look a little bit tighter than the best. You know, it still looks pretty nice, and by the way, that is being very picky, but I do the floor, I like the floor, and that's cool. Better they work, the floor, I mean, okay, we look at every detail, okay? Yeah, we literally pick up every single thing yeah. that you can see. But yeah, it, it's called Avengers Camp, it's obviously suggesting that it's like a training site, also. but it feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, it does feel a little bit, also though, it's kind of heavy. Yeah, we're going on all kinds, it's very popular this land already. That's very popular. Yeah. Over here, you may recognise one of the films. You see over there, you've got a massive disc. Sorry for any of you Marvel fans out there. Then you've got a small one just up there as well. Oh yeah. Of course, it's meant to be part of the film. Because obviously... Ant-Man. Yeah, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Ant-Man and obviously we're outside of PYM Labs, which again, is yeah. probably something. Actually, so in terms of the restaurants in this area, from what I know, PYM Kitchen is an all UP restaurant, I think. There is, there is another restaurant in here, which is like a proper sit-down restaurant, I think. And I know there's a buffet restaurant, and I think there's a sit-down one, so... But yeah, but that's a bit of information. Also, there's like a little food truck over there as well. Yeah, so it does look pretty cool, and again, the, the theming is really awesome, the shots are really awesome. We're going to head in here, we're shooting clips, and we'll keep you updated with all of our reactions of this land. But so far, so good. It's pretty good, yeah. It feels, I think it feels quite a bit bland in some places, but it still feels quite nice. And to be fair, what used to be here is so much worse. So. Yeah, oh, I'm a gadget. Like, oh, I'm a gadget. I mean, I didn't get to do it. Uh, neither did I get to walk and roll again. Yeah. Um, but I have not done the one in Florida, which we're actually heading over right now to, of course, the re-theme of Rock and Roller. Which is my first ever upside down yeah. And I've actually never done it before. I've seen it. I've been in the, well, I've actually been in the exit and I've seen the train come in. I've never done it, so looking forward to it, but I don't know what to expect. So. Yeah, so let's go. Love the Forsyth for a really high tech, really modern, and a lot better than the old Forsyth. But here now go. Will the coast impress as much? I don't know, but I guess the Florida going... one was good. I mean, of course, Rock and Roller Coaster. But I guess we have to find out. Here we now go for our first ride over here at Avengers Campus, Flight Force. I'm going to say Avengers Assemble? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. I mean, let's go. Yeah. I'm in the middle of a rescue mission. Rocket is it on this tack. On aurait bien besoin d'un coup de main. Who can you land? Contacting Captain Marvel. Are you ready? Si je suis pas ça, moi, où est le bon 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 bon
Ces transpondeurs sont chargés dans les véhicules hypersoniques de la Flight Force. Votre mission, piloter ces véhicules et détourner les missiles de la Terre. So you'll fly the hypersonics and draw the missiles away from the planet. That's when heavy metal and I can do our thing. Quand vous aurez attiré les missiles hors de portée, Delvers et moi, on les pulvérisera. Tout le monde a compris le plan Alors ne tournez pas. Avengers Assemble Flight Force, wow, there was some mixed opinions on that ride and to start from the beginning, entering into this land, I mean, it is an amazing land, we literally left with a quick look around, but the land itself is amazing, you see all the characters, interactions, oh there's the Iron Man over there, all the interactions around this area, I'm taking the photos right now, look behind you, there's Iron Man on the car, it's a really, really awesome land, really awesome atmosphere getting in here, yeah. and seeing all of the attractions around here is so, so awesome, the queue by itself, didn't disappoint either. Yeah, it was pretty good though. It was around 40 minutes waiting for it? Yeah, around 40 to 45 minutes. So, as advertised, so Disney good really smashed in there. But, yeah. um, but as good as expected for Q-Line wise. Uh, it yeah, has, so it's, it's uh, a really nice feeling. It's more to go. Yeah, it's yeah. not more because as we're going through it, it didn't feel like waiting for 40 minutes. Uh, it had different screens, then you went through a bit further. It really changed up the Q-Line from when it was Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah, yeah. And even the animatronic as well of Iron Man himself was real on the pre show I think it wasn't too yeah. long. Really, really hard. So then we thought, maybe it was one of them, and then we got into the ride itself. And I'm not going to say it's for rent, I'm not going to turn around and say it's worth whatever because, of course, we're home from Wisdom from the UK and it yeah. beats all of them by a long shot. Yeah. But the ride itself, it felt slow, definitely. A lot slower than that, maybe that's because I've been on the fast I've got a different opinion on that. Did you? I felt it felt a lot faster than I like, Rock and Roller Coaster did. I like, of course, I never got to experience the one here in Paris, but over the one in Florida, which is the other Rock and Roller Coaster, I thought this is actually a little bit faster. And obviously, it is probably not, but unless this coaster was just built fast, I don't know. But I presume they're the same speed, to be honest. But I know, first one felt a little bit faster. Maybe it's just the dark, I don't know. And there wasn't really much to look at. That's the point I felt for. Exactly. But then we're back on the next point because I love, I love, I love, I love my lighting. It's so cool for London. Like, it really, really works. But then again, the screen is just not enough. I know we're I know not big fan of screens. But at least if you're going to do screens, put screens in. You've got to make it. Contact with you guys. It's got more screens. Yes. I don't like screens anyway, so I take them all out personally if it's me. And I don't know, and it's me, but yeah, but again, if you're going to do screens, they've got enough, and of course, guys, guys, Cosmic Rewind and everything. But here, it felt like there was a. I mean, well, this is going to have spoilers in it. Uh, the first screen you saw. Um, I saw that one screen and then you thought, okay, this is getting alright now. And then that was pretty much it. I mean, there were two more screens in there as well. So I turned three screens in. That was poor. Like, I mean, I. Especially I, the launch ones. You expect something else than that. that. Yeah, that's it. Because the coaster is a solid coaster. Solid like, coaster. Solid coaster. Solid land. We're going to show you some of these the shop in a bit. Yeah. Solid coaster. Solid land. Solid queue line. It's like. I get that you're only on the coast for such a small percentage of the time that you were doing the rest of it, but it's good impress. But come on, just theme it a little bit better. Like, I mean, Marvel is such a big company. I know. Just come on, just theme it a little bit better than they should. They could they have done. They have a huge potential, and I do hope on our next one we can get ahead on to. What did you write on the mic? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, then we can head on to get hopefully impressed because. That ride out there is not as on ride. I hope with California, but don't bring it on over. Maybe that's why they're bringing over the 4D dark ride attraction because that one didn't do it. Maybe that was the original plan to bring that one over to California, but it didn't yeah. work. I don't know. But. I don't know. It just. I mean, it's fine. I just don't know. I feel like they could have done a lot more with that. And as you know, we've never watched our hub. We've hardly ever watched any Marvel movies. I've watched a couple, as I said, but. You know what? It was alright. I mean, would I rush here to go on it? No. Like, would we do it again this trip? Probably, probably not. not. I mean, uh, this is the thing as well. We've got the back row. So, I reckon front's probably best on that. But we've got a solid row, which is usually our favourite on any poster. And we still have these opinions on it. I don't think I think it's as bad as a lot of people said it was. So, a lot of people were saying it's awful. Like, you won't want to do it at all when you visit. No, give it a go. I think it was alright. But, 
yeah, I don't know. It's nice before before we've got a minute for that, really. And we, and we are definitely some people who are not just done in one ride. Oh, yeah. Even though we did this one, we give it a few more rides. Maybe when we come back a future visits, or if we do get a chance, we'll do it again from a short queue. But it's definitely worth giving it a ride, giving your own opinion, because some people, so much people love, some people hate, but personally, not too fond of that ride back there. Continuing our way now, going through the land. I think for our next attraction, we're going to be heading on to Web Slinger, which is just through the door there. Five minutes. Pun? How much is it? 95 minutes. No, no, I was there 55 minutes. No. no, 50 minutes. I was thinking of Ida 50. Oh, God. Well, maybe not. I'll have a think about it then, guys, because will it work if we come back to it? I don't know. But we'll have a little look around this land if not. Show you some clips before we'll continuing our day over here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. One hour ago, we entered into Avengers Campus for our first ever time. And one hour later, we are leaving it with a very positive message. Of course, Flight Force was never going to be amazing. We came expecting not to be fantastic. Yeah, and it and didn't, so it wasn't. <laughs> exactly, so it's fine. But the queue line for that, the experience of that, and everything apart from the actual coaster itself was really, really good. So that was a good thing. But the overall land, I mean, the amount of characters that have done it. If you are an Avengers fan, you're laughing really about oh, that. Yeah. I mean, we saw four or five characters when we were there. We yeah. saw like one massive interaction with like Iron Man and the car. Plus, as we were leaving, I was a show, we we're only there for an hour. Yeah. And all throughout the day, they do that. I mean, it's not like a prime time in the day, is it, right no, now? No, no. It's, like, it's about, I don't know what time it is, it's very cool, maybe. Yes, yeah, so it's not the sort of time which you imagine they do a lot on, but yeah. the amount of characters there, the shop as well, we're in there. Again, really immersive, really nice to be in the shop. As well as, of course, the restaurant, the Peem Kitchen, I think that's what it's called anyway. That, is it not Peem Kitchen? It is, yeah. It is. Oh, come on. The Peem Kitchen, that's a buffet restaurant. How cool is that? I imagine it's probably not cheap, but the food looks amazing. Again, the overall experience, and overall, I've got to say, it does fit in. As much as Toy Story Land fits into this area, that fits in. I hope they do refurbish for new coaster. That would be I really know. good. I mean, I hope there's an upgrade for Christmas because I'd really like to see it happen because I think that's going to be the only ride in it, uh, of course, on this trip. But, you know, it was good to do it. I enjoyed it. But, yeah, in terms of the area itself, though, it's good. It's not amazing. Like, oh, I, I disagree. Yeah, but I mean, again, everyone has their own opinions. But for me, I don't think it's incredible. Like, it, it's all right. It, it's nice. Personally, I wouldn't like to see another part get it. I would be happy if that was it for Avengers Campus, to be honest. And I know Marvel's a big thing, so I hope that's it because, or unless they improve, because you know, Disney can always improve stuff. Uh, I mean, they're amazing it. But I just think rides like this, of course, Quasar and Tara Terrence. So if you look at that now, compared to Avengers Campus, it's just like, it's so much better. It's, it's crazy, but you know, it's still a good area. If you love Marvel, I think you're gonna prefer it than me because, again, I haven't really watched any Marvel films, so there you go. But I mean, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. I think you will really enjoy it. As much as I said, if you enjoy Toy Story, you enjoy Toy Story that. The only thing is, however, it is meant to look industrial. And for some people who don't know a lot about Marvel, put that like myself, it looks a bit like, if you didn't know what it's based on, it feels like they just did a half an effort. A bit like this land in general, to be really honest. Looking over at Hollywood Studios, of course, if you look at the buildings down here, of course, it's meant to be a studio set, but it looks like a bit of a lazy attempt on a theme park itself, especially with Disney. So it's good they're changing it. And as you can see, just down there, all the billboards, especially going on the other side, you see hundreds of cranes. They're really expanding this park. Oh, yeah, definitely. Big time. And I'm pretty pleased to, of course, see one of our home Disney parks. Uh, yeah, I mean, getting a night, of course. Grand Tuff, like, Grand Tuff, like, basically. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I said, the new Lasco, Frozen, as well as Star Wars. Yeah. They're getting impactful, really, I feel like. Oh, they are. I mean, it, one day this is going to be one of the best parks in the world. I mean, it Definitely. is right now, but it's just not up there with other the other Disney parks. Yeah. Apart from Hollywood Studios, which I'd probably say is worse than this park. One of the Disney parks, right? Yeah, one of the Disney parks. But you know, this yeah, it was nice. I mean, Avengers Campus is alright, and you know, the park in general is really nice. So personally, I'd say it's a good addition. We still got to do one more ride yeah. there. And of course, I don't think we're going to be doing all the character me and greets like that over there. So, for us, as someone who's not very interactive, as you probably tell, well, it's not that there's a thing about those at the yeah. park. For us, it's not so much of an interactive, it's more of a ride. So, I get why you probably don't enjoy most stuff people do. Enjoy yeah. the interactions. But overall, good lad. 
good addition and I'm glad to see you here, but I do agree with you Adam. I think that should be enough and I really would be disappointed if we do change this to Guns Galaxy. As much as I love Bonnet California, Tower of Terror is a classic, it's an amazing ride. In a 50 minute queue, I think we've got to head to next. The question is Adam, will we survive our night in the Hollywood Tower Hotel? shadow and substance of things and ideas you just crossed over into the twilight zone just had a night over in the Hollywood Tower Hotel and it's definitely not a normal stay as Adam. No, it definitely isn't. It's definitely very different. It's more than all you expect. The queue line very fast. Again, it was like an hour queue line I think it was. But it felt like 10 minutes. Oh yeah, it felt really quick. It felt like a nice half an hour. The fastest catapult I've ever been in. Oh yeah. And luckily this time we actually managed to go upstairs, which we never normally get to. I don't know why, we would go downstairs, but upstairs the best experience. I know you can't choose, they put you in the ride, but if you get the ride on the left, the library on the left at the start, we're just gonna go upstairs. And I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but you can probably guess what happens at the start of your upstairs one, but it is a different experience, and in my eyes, it kind of adds next to like percent onto the ride yeah, experience. Yeah. If you go to toy experience, it might even go up my rankings just because of the feet up to the experience. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And it's, it's much better at the top, like. Right? Oh, and it, I know you're probably thinking, oh, it won't affect it all, but honestly, it really does affect a lot, and it's a good ride, it's really fun. And I love how they still keep it as that. It's actually just Guns and Galaxy. Even though, I'm not sure, I've got Guns and Galaxy Mission Breaker, I'm not sure if that's actually better or not. Yeah, I personally, the thing is, Tata is a classic, and it always has been a classic, and I think, it's a bit weird that they changed the one over in California to that, because yeah. of any of them, why would the Hollywood one be <laughs> changed over towards Guns and Galaxy? But, in fact, at the end of the day, it is, for my opinion, a better ride itself. If you're kind of your first time, you don't care about much fun about magic and the classics, I'd prefer Guns Galaxy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's a lot more upbeat, enjoyable, a lot more fun, but there's something about that one. It but is. something pretty while we're here, that shop's open. Wow, I've only really have been in there once. I've never been in there. It's not bad, it's quite small. Uh, yeah, this is small. I might have a little nip in there the way around to the attraction cars road trip. But yeah, Tower of Terror gets up on it. The queue made it longer, maybe advertised the long queue line, but the queue flies, it's very well themed. The pre show breaks up, and the ride itself literally cannot be beaten. Such a fantastic and solid attraction over here at the park. But as I have said, we're going to be heading over towards Carver. I'll have a quick peek inside of this shop. And if you've ever been to Disneyland 4, you know it's never ever open, the Toys Hotel. So here we go. And you can definitely tell, this, uh, it's definitely a top, yeah, it's definitely a small shop, right? It's alright. I mean, it, it's very, very, very small, but... Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's probably the smallest shop on Disney side, to be honest. I can't remember people fitting in that one, but, again, do not fear, they still have the prices of that one. However, uh, as I said, we just enter now through Toy Story Land and onto our next attraction, Cars Road Trip. Change, of course, from a back lot tour. A really solid attraction over here at Disneyland, but I was saying I was a little bit too long back lot tour. Yeah, I mean, I personally... Mm. I'm not the biggest fan of Battle Tours and this, all these sort of tram rides to be honest. But you know, especially Cars Road Trip, because it's a little bit different from your usual tram ride, it's probably my favourite to be honest. And that's someone saying that who's done, of course, the one in Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh, no, that's it's meant to be the best one out there. But in my opinion, I love Cars so. But what do you like is that floor? I like this floor, it's a new type of floor they use, and I hope they use it when they do expand the rest of the park over. Yeah. I really like the floor. And I love filming right now for you guys and see the other cranes and stuff because I remember when I filmed back in 2017, well, 2017, Rock and Roller Coaster was still here. But I like filming construction like this for you guys because when we do return in the next few years for probably our 100th trip, it'll be nice to see this all fully expanded and how it's going to look in the future because it's going to be an unbelievably, probably the biggest expansion that Disney's ever done, apart from mostly building up the parks. Yeah, I guess probably it's huge, like what they've planned for. Only because it's 2017, when we filmed our first vlog from over here what they've done already, I love the car, what they've done already, they of course added the new Avengers canvas in and then they're continuing over there, they're going to be adding of course the Frozen, the Star Wars, the new little photo pavilion and I can only imagine it's going to expand, you've got new Toy Story rides coming, oh it's going to be so so good, I'm so looking forward to seeing it unveil this amazing face, but no further ado, let's now go on to Cars Road Trip. I 
I'm so excited to check out Route 66 with you. I'm ready to meet it, read it, and defeat it. Oh, oh, la cruise! Sur la route 66. That's how it is. The Route 66. She is a fool of the crazy beautiful. Les attractions au bord de la route ont été construites pour divertir les voyageurs. Le garage, pardon. The ghost garage, I'd be dying to get out. Nous y voilà. Bien, nous allons marquer un court arrêt dans le canyon. All right, everyone. We're making a short scheduled stop here in the canyon. Wow, pile à l'heure. Catch out! We have just done Cars Road Trip and that is definitely the best tram tour apart from when I was at Universal. I mean, I don't know, for me, I don't know. Like, I love the classic tower at each Universal, but. You know, it's just so much more than a tram tour. Like, yeah. Anyway, and I was so pleased they refurbished it. Basically, what they've done is on the old tram tour, which is every single great part of the tram tour, like the catastrophe canyon, stuff like that. Yeah. They then took that, put better feeling onto it, and they're a little bit shorter, which made it even better. I mean, like, it's just all round massively improved. We don't that ride. that a lot because usually rides better than longer. And one question is, is that a new feeling? I swear I it is just new feeling. That. I, I, I love that. I love that. I swear that's a new feeling. I don't think it's a new feeling. But that definitely looks like a new feeling right there. We came last time. That looks brand new. Well, there you go. It was a new feeling. It's a new feeling over here. I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah. I mean, like, we're obviously going to study it every single second, but it does look new for you. It does look really, really awesome as well. But it's not only that that's cars from here, no, you've no. also got another cars ride, which is down here, a bit similar to what we're saying that Star Wars is going to be like. So as well, on the first scene of, uh, of course, Cars Road Trip, you may have remembered, actually, there's a couple of characters which are very familiar. There's a reason because of that, because I think Disney took a bit of a Merlin route on this one. But yeah, they just removed the characters. Yeah, that. and you used to have fair, the two though. characters that you liked over there, and they yeah, removed I've it. I've got to be honest, to be fair. The people are coming over for it, which, to be honest, is always like even though the signs are people just broke the walls over here, which wasn't good, obviously. So I'm sort of pleased they removed it. Of course, kept in a nice place so people can't sort of ruin them in a way. Yeah, they kept Mate and uh, McQueen over there. Yeah, but you know, I mean, it's sad they've gone from that, but at least they're in a better place now. Of course, no one can ruin it anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I was doing you know, and chances are as well, I was just working out that's a 25 or 75 minute queue line because that's 25. Oh, okay, no, no, 75. That's 25, yeah. No, it's 75. 75. 75. Yeah, there you go. I think, whoa! Yeah, I'll be honest. I'll see you go around at 65. Yeah, yeah, what would you do? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? But no. Cars road trip, really good solid ride. Don't know if it's going to be a permanent fixture or just a small fixture. No. I imagine it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's gone quite well, to be honest. So I do seem to like it. So I can imagine it sort of was going to be temporary, but I can imagine. And then improve it over time. I reckon it'll stay there for quite a while. Yeah, actually. especially while we're doing the rest of it. Maybe when they do the rest of it and they look at the space. A quick prediction though, if we if we ever watch this back in like 10, 15 years, I reckon there'll be radiator springs in this park. Yeah. Just, just gonna put it out there, I reckon radiator springs will be coming here. But I don't know when, don't know why, but I just Maybe that really air that's like because obviously gonna have Star Wars behind Tower Terror, but yeah. frozen at the back because we have an empty spot. That's a, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, and that's where And almost say that is where Cars Worship Company exactly. is positioned. So maybe. Maybe, just please, maybe, please. they're going to add that in as an extra and keep coverage of I know. Will we do it? I don't know. Let's see if Anne's right. I Subscribe so. to find out. <laughs> but there in you go. In about 15 years time. We'll, we'll keep you informed. We'll keep you informed. We'll come back to this vlog when I'm in my like 30s and we'll go, he was right there. Or maybe he's not. But there you go. So over here at Walt Disney Studio Park. And we will actually be returning over to this park. We decided again to change it up today. You make plans to break plans, basically. That's yes. what you do. We don't to change it because we want to show you guys the parade, the special Christmas parade over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave this park. We're going to literally show you the parade down Main Street. And then we're going to walk straight back again. Yeah, so we're basically just going in there, of course, yeah. take some photos as well. And yeah, really just have a little look down Main Street because it's an amazing area. Like, exactly, I do. And then we'll be returning back here 
before late at night because what normally happens in this park in particular is as you probably feel the crowds, there's only enough to do. It used to be enough to do for half a day, now there's enough to do for three quarters of a day. There's still a quarter of a day, the last hour or so here, it should theoretically go a lot emptier. It should. So we're planning to go here for the last hour, hot hour, do a few solid attractions before we're returning back into the main park again for the rest of the day. One of the things that's great about Paris is that we're so close to each other, oh, we can yeah. do that. So Disney World is a little bit too far away, especially some of the Magic Kingdom to Animal Kingdom. Right. Yeah, it's all easy by the transport, but it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. just to be able to walk out here right now, and the distance from basically now to the exit of the park is the same as back to the other park, so yeah. it makes it a lot easier to be able to just go out and go back in again, switch between as your hearts can say, you see short of queue lines in the park? As well. I have to say as well, this entrance up here, you may have never realised it before, but it's humongous. Yeah. Like, yeah. Honestly, when you look at videos, it does not do justice. It is humongous. Yeah, like, it's, it's massive. It's yeah. insane. Basically, you really come here to stand here and look up because it is a crazy entrance, an awesome entrance. I don't think one that's photo worth it, I think. Yeah, exactly. So, what we'll do right now, we'll leave this park, we'll head back down to the other one, maybe a few rides on the way back. But yeah, we'll see. Because we'll... it's starting to get a little bit darker now. And the good thing about Christmas is, yeah, it gets dark pretty early on. So, it means. Night rides, we'll, we will get some nights, even though we may watch the show, we will get some nights. We will definitely try to get some in for you guys because, again, it's our only night of this trip, so we'll get everything for you guys. But with no further ado, let's leave the park and head to the next. Wow, what a day has it been so far! And as we enter into Disneyland Paris, already it's got some Christmas magic over here, honestly. It's so good to be over here and we decided to start waiting for the parade and I do want to get the best shots for you guys that we can get. And standing here with that view across the castle is something that is very different and standing here as the music plays is absolutely phenomenal. So we're waiting right now, we'll keep you updated with this magical show going on all the way until an hour's time when the parade does begin.
in Hollywood, we go after a fantastic parade. Thank you, Adam, for letting me use your camera on that. I wanted to get a nice video for you guys, a high quality video that we can upload. So that will be the full POV of that show. Is it a POV of the show? Yeah. Yeah, full show video? Yeah. Oh, no, it's it's yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's up there right now. So thank you for letting me use that. That's Maybe we might use it again for the Far Eight show. We do hello yeah, tonight. Sure. But I did hope you enjoyed that. But we have to get back here now. Q lines are shorter in that ride that we were on Web Slingers. Yeah. That had a hundred and something Q. Yeah, I think so. But now, now it's in 50, that's amazing. And of course, the park itself just looks phenomenal at night. Like, come to Disney is amazing, but night time at any theme is amazing. But Disney, it just takes it to the next level. At night time, you can really see it at the Hollywood Tower Hotel. And I do think for the main park really showcases that a lot more than night time. So if you're going to do the night park, go to the main park, especially down Mace USA, especially at Christmas is the best time. But one area I did hear was very good at night time is Avengers Campus. Now that we're heading right back to right now, whether we do a ride or not, I don't know. Because both the rides are indoors, so it doesn't really work to that at night time rather than the outdoor rides. But to see the land, to enjoy the atmosphere, we've got to go over towards it. So let's assemble guys into the Avengers Campus. down here before changing our minds. We are now in the queue for Web Slingers. It's always 40 minutes. We want to do it tonight. So we thought, why not? It's 40 minute queue and it's probably worth it. About, I don't know, worth the first time for that, I think. But you want to do it? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's 95 minutes earlier. So, you know, it's, um, it's worth going on, isn't it? Have a look see what it's like. Exactly. We've never done this ride before. We don't want to have similar to it. However, it's worth heading on. I've currently got like four minutes charge on my camera too. So we might have to switch it to Adam's camera later on if we can. But I'll try getting the vlog going. That's one of the kids I've been a little bit short now. But worst thing is, final ride over here. Are you excited? Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. I mean, it's not some really bad reviews this. So, don't really know what to expect. Of course, our home park player and our Windsor, we have Lego and Java at the ride. And I know it's sad to say, but I'm expecting that for this. So, it's quite upsetting to because I mean, honestly, it should not be compared to a Lego app part of this. But, no. And once again, we're going to keep it on because also the laser game. I've got a low charge, but also the laser game means I want to play and see if I can become a champion. So, we'll show you some clips. Then we'll show you a free show, this is really good. This is a free show. Then a really good free show, we're on the mind. And then we'll talk to you yeah. about a bottom review once we get off before we continue our day. To the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. Oh, Peter, there, back here. Comment ça va? C'est petit speed en route, par exemple. Regardez, c'est super. Ils peuvent même se dupliquer tout seul dans son propre toit d'araignée, comme mon pote Spiderman. Euh, Peter, ta présentation est en train de t'échapper. Oui, j'ai raté. Spiderman continue de se répliquer et détourne tout ce qu'il trouve sur leur passage. Je contacte Spiderman. Euh, je vais appeler Spider-Man à la réussite parce que je crois que c'est dans les parages. Ok, au revoir. Spider-Man, tu as besoin Tu vois, super. Tu risques atteint le niveau danger exponentiel. Tu as peut-être besoin d'aide. Et si j'appelle les Avengers Ok, la journée est forte ouverte, c'est annulé. On the spine box, before they destroy the Avengers campus, we need your help. It is for your safety that wants on board the speed of the events board. And please, supervise your children. It's going to be good. Let's go. We're playing this time. And the scores are in. Who's got the top score in the group? Right. And in total, we got 500. Who got the highest score? 200,000. Wow. 205,000. 205 and I got something. I thought I got something like that. I know. That's really good fun though. I really enjoyed that. I think it kind of is actually. Oh my god, that was a really, really good attraction. Came into it thinking it was going to be like Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Also, I love that warehouse, but it really fits in. I don't know why. I don't know why yeah. But came in there thinking it was going to be like Ninja Gaiden. Oh my god, it was it so, was so good. Like it was like, yeah, the system, system was, but it worked better. It always worked <laughs> when you swinged it. And what was so cool about it as well, and I really noticed when I was doing it, was that not only can you shoot for targets, gain scores, or get a hard one in the group, but when you're going around, if you slingshot something, what happens as well is when you sling something, it pulls out and it's like it's fully immersive. The theming, once again, is impeccable. In your queue line, it's got oh, quite a few so cattle pens, but 
Overall, it's a really good queue line. The ride itself was great. You've got to kind of for yourself to experience it. Pre shot as well. It is good. But I know things, I know a lot of people do not like that attraction. Yeah. And that's the thing, you have to be your own opinion on it. Because I know more people, a lot more people at least prefer this than in Jordan Pond prefer that. Um, but, you know, I do like this. It's what I've been done, Exactly. But I think we're seeing it. It's a great attraction. In my opinion, it's probably the better attraction in this deep area. Yeah. It's a really good ride. And basically, in California, you've got the drop tower. Yeah, it's like, fabulous, yeah. amazing. And the theming is amazing. So, we're only going to doubt about this whole land. This is what I'm buying. The queue line, as you see what I'm walking right now, is amazing. I know. It's such a, like, I don't know, it's such a good coaster itself. It is. The web thing that is underrated. Whatever I said about it before, I'm going to take it back. That is amazing. That is a really solid attraction. Works so well. It's not rise of resistance level, but it's not going to be. It's kind of like mid towards, I think the coaster that's compared to it, it's towards the Romania. Yeah, I guess. I think it's better, but I'm quite a nice place to be honest. But I don't think it's all sitting there, around, drifting yeah. the screens, play games. But yeah, we're doing that again this trip, no matter what. I think that's a really good cool And if it is a 100 minute queue, getting it is worth it, okay? For me, my eyes, that was a really, really good attraction. But as I said earlier, we had a 20 minute queue for this ride before we had to go give another chance, didn't we? It looks more like fights. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we had to go another chance. So before we jump in it while we're here, get on the ride, join Iron Man once again. It's very exciting adventure. Ne le traînez pas, les amis. On a du poids sur la planche. Calibrage des sous-systèmes. Subsystems recalibrated. Si je suis prêt, c'est à moi que vous parlez. We've got a situation. As you know, Cree warheads are headed our way, and we need your help. Ne vous inquiétez pas. J'ai créé un transpondeur qui va tromper le système de guidage des missiles et faire en sorte d'être pris pour cible. He's right. We've got one chance to save the planet. Second ride on Flight Force, and it did improve slightly, but it's nothing special. I mean, if they do an update, yeah. this land is incredible. Literally, it's incredible. Good, yeah. This land, it works so well. It's really awesome. I mean, this is better at night. This is the restaurant. I think like, this is the restaurant. Yeah, okay? it's a quick cool. service restaurant. This one is, and we're just standing here to show you a little bit of it. Yeah. But it looks absolutely amazing. The land's change. absolutely amazing. Yeah, well, uh, since I'm coming in at night, I feel like it's really gone up a little bit. Yeah. And I know some people are out there who love models, so of course, it's very popular. Yeah, imagine for them. No, I think it's awesome. I've already seen them, though. Yeah, exactly. Funny thing is, though, I actually think if you watch Marvel films, your opinion is going to be worse. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people have been saying that it doesn't, they could have used much more from the, like, from the films. When actually, if you haven't watched the films, you don't know what else they could have included. True. So I don't know. It, it, could, it could go either way, but yeah. people that I've heard, well, well, I've heard from people, and they've said, yeah. So I don't know. We'll have to work out. I like it. I do like it. I think it's really awesome. Um, yeah. But I didn't give that far. I just get one little bit further. I don't even need any more screens. If they can't have screens in there, fine. Just add some lasers or something in the middle. Because there's like seconds where you have like, Four or five seconds of ride, which is a long time on a roller coaster, where you've just got nothing, and it just feels like a bit blank. Obviously, you've got the audio in here, which is nice, but the screens I can deal with, I just yeah. need something else. Yeah, I feel like I enjoyed it more this time. Um, it's, it's a really solid coaster, and now there's three of them out there, three clones. Well, there's two clones, well, it's a clone. Uh, well, basically, there's Rock and Roller Coaster, of course, Walt Disney World, and then there's a new clone of it, and Wallaby Holland with Platform 13. But, you know, that's very different from these, because it is outdoors. But in terms of the actual experience itself, you know, it was good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best coast ever created, but, you know, the coast itself is fun. It just feels like there's some sections, especially on the mid courses, and I know some mid courses do have the screens, but you go and hit in some of the mid courses, and the screens are not even that bright. Yeah, I think it feels slower because it's not obviously Aerosmith yeah. anymore. And it's visible as well, but it's still very good. Yeah, I mean, it's weird as well, because when you go and pass it, some of the screens are only to your left hand side, so unless you're riding on the right hand side, which I was, you're not going to see it as much. I mean, we did change over today, so I did see it earlier on the left hand side, but some yeah. of the screens, it's just like to point out, yes. I personally prefer the left hand side. Yeah, I, I don't really know about it this time, but I mean, yeah, yeah. Good now, but. what I would do is I come and experience it. The only thing I'd improve in this land, literally the only thing I'd improve is that coaster. The queue line's fine, just, just put a bit more on the coaster, that's all you need to do. It's and then the land would be amazing. I mean, like, that's all you've got to do. So I look forward to some point heading over towards California, as I always say, because that has got everything but that coaster. Yeah. So you get all the great web thingers, rides, plus, plus you're also going to get 
the awesome Tab Taylor style Guns of Galaxy drop tower. So that'll be really awesome as well. So while we're standing here, we'll give you a little glimpse of what you can get for food rides. But then we'll then continue our day over here, or should I say night, at Hollywood Disney, Disney Studios? Walt Disney Studios. I always get one wrong, I'm sorry guys. The quality's ridiculous on that. And that next ride is going to be no other than the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Such an icon over here at the park. It probably is the most iconic thing over here at this park. But wow, is it a solid attraction? We're having a 20 minute queue. We feel we're all not going on it. It's actually the second ride that we've done twice because obviously we just did five rides back there today. But this is a must do. Oh, it's a great ride. I love the Twilight Zone Tower. Honestly, it's such a classic. And you know, it's just such a fun drop tower. If you count it, it's a great ride. It really is. I'm looking over and see if there's a cattle pen, but the cattle pen isn't open at the moment. So it's just going back and forth and then you're in. So it's not a bad queue at all. We're making our way through right now towards the hotel. Are you excited for your night ride on the hotel? Yes, you know, it's a night in the hotel, but yeah. well, you know what, it's, it's going to be a fun ride. Yeah. I do love it, well, as I just said. It, it's a great ride. It's, just, it's so much fun for some reason. And I don't know, I didn't show the why, but yeah. it's just such a good ride. And usually drop towers, I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest, but. This isn't your normal drop tower, is it? No, it's very, very different. But in my opinion, I would say this is the best part of the entire tower I've been on. And that's saying for the person who's done one the floor and everything. Yeah. Your eyes is so much better than that. Yeah, I've been doing We're spending our hours how we think it's better, but we're now going to go home and watch. Great view. So let's check in and head on our next rise. The Hollywood Tower Hotel. Au-delà, c'est une autre dimension. Une dimension sonore. Une dimension visuelle. Une dimension de l'esprit. La quatrième dimension. just had a stay in the Hollywood Tower Hotel and as a quick heads up I'm currently filming on Adam's camera so if the quality is any different better or worse or if I'm literally talking to no one right now and you can't see me in the lens I think it's alright I had a quick peek over a second ago this yeah. is the first time I'm ever vlogging a camera like this so welcome well, to I'm a moment in history bit, yeah, I, I just it. say photos <laughs> exactly I'm just giving it a go because my camera's out of charge yeah. but we thought we would just use it as a backup yeah. now but. but Tower Terror wow what a great ride. I mean, honestly, it's such an amazing attraction. In my opinion, one of the best attractions anywhere in the world. You know, it's just incredible. And also as well, we've got the back row on the night ride. Even though it doesn't really affect much, I've got to say, the back row is pretty cool because... Just space thing, I forgot something. On the number plate, it's where it's 1901. Yeah. And that was in 1901 was the year Walt Eliza Disney was born. There you go. A little bit of facts for you guys. A little bit of history yeah. from over here. But we are a little bit short on time. Because luckily, to so not know how, as we're going to do on a tower tower, one of the lifts open, meaning that we have our five minutes there. So, no other than RC Razor for our final ride over the day at Toy Story Land. And it's so good to be back here. We haven't actually done any rides over here on this I trip yet. And also, I'm going to quickly say a controversial opinion here. I actually prefer Toy Story Playland than I do Toy Story or uh, whatever it's called out there. Oh, is it? In Walt Disney World Hollywood. I know where you're coming from. It's also quality rides here. Yeah, the thing is, though, I just love this area. It's small, it's cute. And I feel like the Florida one, with the theme of Florida, is a little bit too big. And I, don't, I feel like this one just works better, the soundtrack. Yeah, better. and I'll give you another fun fact as well. I don't have a time. Do the but on the wing of this plane was the year that, uh, the day actually, one of the numbers on the side was the day that it actually Sorry. premiered. And the day on the van is the day that it. Something in, something in France and America, I don't know. I'll give you guys that fact tomorrow, but walking down here, look how quiet it is at night, well, perfect path for night. Just give it a minute, just to appreciate it. A little bit of appreciation for Zigzag Dash. That's one, not Zigzag yeah. Dog Dash, yeah. but Zigzag Spin. Good, that was good. That was a good ride, it was very cool to ride. Jane didn't actually enjoy it as much as we did, but that was a really good ride. However, continue our day right now. We're heading on to our final track over this park, of course. Hopefully, of course, we're going to return to the other park in a bit. Five minute queue, wow. This is the time to come, guys. I don't know today was like a 50 minute queue for this attraction, but right now we're walking on it. Five minute queue, one of the best queue lines on the planet. I've got to say, look at this queue, it is absolutely fantastic. Continue our way down. Adam, are you excited to take a ride in it? Yeah, honestly, I love our queue. It's a great attraction, and even though the coaster, yeah, it may not be amazing. You know, it's very unique, actually, and yeah, it's, it's good. I'm looking forward to it because I do have a good old intimate. 
and especially at Disney Park, I mean, the queue makes this attraction. So, also, yeah. you get some great views of a single zigzag spin as well. Exactly, so just down there, get some fantastic views. And of course, the rest of the park. Exactly, this park's fantastic, and I think it's very underrated, this park. I know we, we come here always saying, this is the worst park ever with Disney Parks, and as a starters, Adam doesn't fully agree with it anymore. I don't know, it's tough. Like, do I prefer the Hollywood Studios? I don't know, because for me, Hollywood Studios is such an incomplete. It, it, it's weird, I don't get it, it doesn't flow well. This park feels like the whole like, areas all flow well together. Just, I don't know, I just feel like Hollywood Studios has something about it that I don't like. Yeah, I know. But what of mean. course, even though it's got amazing attractions, but this park also does as well. Like, yeah, exactly. it's incredible. It's incredible. incredible. And this ride in particular, fun fact, it's actually a coaster as well, this ride. So if you come in and look on the coaster, the crazy, I know. Oh, yeah, there's an Intamin coaster over here apart, but five minute queue, RC racer. There's nothing better to literally walk on than head straight on it. Look at this. What an amazing night ride over here at the park. At least you can't get a shot, but trees don't fun, great. <laughs> Here it comes out, up here. Here we go, 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 we go. Oh, look at that. Incredible, really. Well, there you go. From our final ride over here at Walt Disney Studio Park. And what a ride to finish on. It was quite rushed, actually, getting on the ride, yeah, but... It was. It was so much fun. It was we such a great time. So, not too bad. I mean, not the best, but no, it's actually a really fun going. So, I mean, the cycle is incredibly short. I mean, when I say short, I mean, it's probably the shortest cycle pretty much on a thrill quest you can find. But, you know, it does it have some good forces, and, you know, the launches are good. And they're also quite powerful as well. It's just surprising because it is a Disney park. But yeah, it's a great coaster. Also, as well, it makes it so good are, of course, the trains and the Q9 as well. Really, just the theming in general on that ride. Uh, it's what makes the experience, but uh, it's still a fun ride. I do enjoy it. And yeah, you get some over the park. Exactly. And for Jaden, whilst we're over here, have a look over here. You've got the mine things with Eva. There you go. That's for you, Jaden. But yeah. Great final ride, all over I didn't think we were going to get too long, especially with that tower queue, like, I mean, like five minutes left. And we actually managed to get on that ride, that was amazing. And then we did the final one, I mean, today's ride count is going to be absolutely crazy, but what a day it's been. All the attractions that we have competed, yeah. everything's just been fantastic. Yeah, it's been amazing, you know, in this park, it's so underrated, like, a lot of people give it a lot of hate, and saying it's the worst Disney park out there. Um, but you know what, in my opinion, it's probably not the worst Disney park. I think I do prefer this and this is probably studios to be honest. Yeah. And I, know, I disagree because I still like Gatsby Dad, it just makes it. I get the, the lineup there is incredible. The like, unbelievable lineup. But here it just feels so much nicer. Like the way you go in between areas just feels a lot nicer than over in Florida. Um, but yeah, trust me, Animal Kingdom out there is incredible, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, this part is great. Avengers Campus is great to get in there. Um, yeah, you. it's a nice park. I do really enjoy it. Yeah, same here. I love the park. It's all great to be honest. And I love how we added the Avengers Campus. <laughs> and I'm mega, mega excited to do the other two rides over here. We're obviously landing when they do finally open up. Oh, yeah, because definitely. they're going to be absolutely phenomenal. Look at it as well. Best view you can probably get. Actually, what are the best views actually from the parachute drop? True, actually, yeah. But you get all the movement from. It's a very good one. Bring a patch dot, you can't guarantee a view. Whereas if you go into RC Racer, you'll get a great view across as you go up, as long as you're not too scared you anyway. Be on <laughs> you're just like looking over. But it was quite nice. It, yeah, you, as I say, you do get some great views. It's yeah, great. I mean, you do get some fantastic views. And we're now making our way back through over towards the park. Merci, thank you. And I go back over towards the other park to finish our day. So if you are leaving and you got a park copper, this park does end up closing earlier. Yeah, it does actually. So this park today shows at nine o'clock. Uh, Disneyland Park actually shows at 10. So us being us, we will now go into the other park to get half an hour back right away shots. But a lot of people will just go home now. But yeah. yeah. Make bank for most of your time. You're over here at Disney. And trust me, the tickets are not due, I'm just sad. The tickets are not due to get here, but being here is amazing. It's worth every single penny and more. And until you go, this is one of the biggest things for me and Tom especially. Uh, for people who have been so many times now, if you haven't been, you don't know what it's like. Like, honestly, it may look incredibly expensive, but it's something else. Of course, I will come up for a review at the end, but if you haven't been before, honestly, I know it looks expensive. Just come down here, take it all in, spend three or four days, of course, at this place. I mean, to us, even more than that. But yeah, it's a great place. Just really take it in, because that's what you need to do. Just give it a exactly. chance. Give it a chance, because it's a bit underrated, so a lot of people don't like it, but personally, I'm a huge fan of it. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm making our way now. Merci, thank you. Making our way now through over here. It's absolutely fantastic. So we'll make our way down, via exit, and when you get to the middle area, with people leaving this park, it's very, very busy. So I'll show you a few clips all before we finish our time over 
over here at Disneyland for our first and actually final full day. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is crazy. I mean, we've had one full day. And yeah, that's it. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's a wrap, guys. We'll see you at the park. Did you see what I did there? That's a wrap. Good to be back over here at Disneyland Park and being back in here after heading to the park is actually amazing to do. I mean, even if you don't do any rides and you just go to watch a show, it is awesome, isn't it? It is. Honestly, this park is just insane. Like, I love this park so much. Yeah, I know. It might be the third best theme park out there. It's second, maybe, but you know what? It's incredible. And at night, this park is very big on night rides. Like, it's just, it does have a couple of great night rides here. And the ones that are good, they don't have many of them, but the ones that are good are incredible. Yeah, that's running off for kind of close. Yes, one of them is kind of close. That's true, but you know. But well, we're going to go around and we decided because the rides here are so good at night and overall the park is just amazing at night that we're not actually going to watch the evening show over here but instead spend our time instead it's enjoying the atmosphere here because yeah. we've got one night we've got one night we feel like if you're covering it you've got to do some night rides yeah, we've got good on rides so as a show it's the same show as on the year before it's the year than the year before that and they're all very similar I thought the trade for me was a really nice Christmasy thing that we did yeah I did I thought like, that really put a show in for me really this trip because three shows is not like when they say it's a 20 minute show you've got to arrive really from a spot 40 minutes early and when you're when you're watching it all the queues are right so short so you miss down some quality rides and then when the show's over it's like half an hour to get out of the crowd so and then we're actually so more busy but yeah it's like it's like, a, it's like an hour or so experience for the show so when it's 20 minutes it's not really 20 minutes to watch the show but that is the reason why we decided to do it because otherwise going into the park right now we would have had to literally queue up for the show and get ready to watch it already but instead we're now going in here going to do some quality rides get some food because we are absolutely starving and then continue our day with such a magical magical day over here at the park but what are we doing first Andy go? Uh, I think we're going to try and get on to a Phantom Manor Phantom Manor yeah I know the first one here it's quite a nice ride you know, we thought we might as well because you haven't done it today. It's a walk on as well, so we thought you might as well, to be fair. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow, probably, but, you know, you might as well do it. Yeah, so back down our little passageway, we're now heading to our first attraction in the park of the evening, yeah. Phantom Manor. What a good first ride. And for anyone who does not know what Big Thunder Mountain looks like with the show lights on, I know, awesome noise. And the what Big Thunder Mountain looks like with the show lights on, we're going to go around right now. As you can see, it's broken down. But here's what it looks like with the show lights on. You rarely ever see this, it's pretty cool. And it's quite empty as well. It's right, it's literally a walk on queue. Look at that. Show lights on Big Thunder, still looks as amazing. But yeah, literally, I think walk on, or no, no one at the door. I don't know And now, curious souls, come, I have more to show you. Entrez! Perhaps you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Hélas, les choses ne sont pas toujours ce qu'elles paraissent. Tous les comptes n'ont pas de fin heureuse. This chilling challenge to find a way out. Wow. 
ha, 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 ha. We have just taken a ride on the Phantom Manor and it has got to be the quietest ride I have been on. Let me tell you a little bit on the ride itself. Yeah, but when we arrived, the doors were open. We got on the lift and there was like 10 people in there. I tried to get some footage for you guys, but I couldn't get so low. There's a little rat running across actually there. I don't want to point out. It's like with Disney. It's Mickey Mouse. Ratatouille. <laughs> yes, exactly like that's a series. It's Remy. It's Remy from Ratatouille, exactly, yeah. But where's the meal? Like? But where, where, where? We're probably in the restaurant. <laughs> but, yeah. Haunted Mansion, Phantom Manor, sorry. One of the weirdest ones called Phantom Manor. I think it is yeah, something, it's weird. It's something to do with that it is in the Wild West, I think, as well. It is. It's weird, though. Because you've got, of course, Haunted Mansion, and then you've got a missing manor over Hong Kong Disneyland. And yes, that's very different, so I sort of understand that name change. This one's a little bit strange. However, oh, I've got sorry, to say, then. maybe I'll open later. Oh. Yeah, maybe I've seen it. Mm. Uh, I have to say though, oh, honestly, it's just Disney, it's great. <laughs> but I have to say though, honestly, I actually quite like that name because as you just said, you actually raised a good point there. It is actually in, of course, Frontier Town. Yeah. Frontier Land? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's Frontier. It's got Frontier. It's got Frontier Land, yeah. Um, but yeah, it sort of, it works quite well as a different name. Because of course, all, all the other ones are like in New Orleans Square. Um, I think both of them are in Florida and California. Um, it's still a really good ride and the soundtrack at the end is incredible so even though you do get a longer soundtrack to that bit at the end but you are on the foreign one and maybe california you know it's still a great ride and it's just really good fun and it looks incredible at night as well so yeah it really it looks like an absolutely fantastic oh, ride and all as well i need to point out this the the lift does actually go down yeah it does that's something big to point out because if you've ever been there before, you won't have noticed, if you get to the door, you can look for this small crack inside of the door. And of course, you're not opening the door or anything, so just don't do that, please. That would be kind of anyway, but um, if you just sort of have a little look, you can actually see the floor, you can actually see it going down. Which is pretty cool, because a lot of people don't really know which ones do, which ones don't, because obviously some don't, but it's pretty cool to see. It's really cool, it. especially if you're fans, but because you'd probably know, for one in Florida, spoiler alert, doesn't actually go down, right, so be aware of that. Now, well, this one does, and you can see the eager fans are waiting for the kind of man to be open. Whether it will later, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth waiting or not. I don't think it is, is it? I mean, it's worth waiting. Sorry, oh, I think we should do it down, Yeah, I do. I mean, we've got one night here, if we're two, maybe we should, but we've only one night here. It's worth. I don't mind though, if you want to do it. I no, I, I, well, it will say it opens, but it just the last ride. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. No one waits the last night here waiting for something that might not even open. They might just be bringing it in for the night, you never know. But. We're making our way now over to what Sam said in Dan Jones for a night ride. <laughs> and you think you see Eiffel Tower from it? Uh, I think you can. So this is a massive theory that we've had. So the Eiffel Tower is actually located, I believe. In Paris? Yeah, in Paris. <laughs> but, um, but it's actually located. Uh, if you actually, so we'll, we'll explain after the ride a bit more. If you're on the first turnaround, uh, basically, we, once you get to one of the corners of the theming piece, uh, I mean, of course, I will explain it a bit more. But yeah. once you get to one of the corners of the theming pieces and you look the opposite way, you can see this very small light which I believe is the Eiffel Tower because it's quite a distance away um, and I believe I can see it so I don't know but well I'm thinking when I go this time flat between here because I mean I looked at Google Maps and it's everything's quite flat so I maybe believe... you can maybe you can't it's sort of thing where you it's not hot like you can't really mistake the Eiffel Tower can you no but <laughs> <laughs> I mean like, it's not like it's a building or something like that yeah, it is Massive metal structure of lights on it. I mean, if you can't see it now, I don't know when you will, but we're now heading over <laughs> to, to Paris. Let's go to Paris. Which you are in Paris, technically. Exactly. I've actually, if I, if I actually can't see it here, I've actually never seen the Eiffel Tower. True. And I've been to this place so many times. Yeah, I've also on the journey, but I probably didn't. But yeah, really? hey, -ho, one day we'll go to Paris. We've been there like 17 yeah, okay. times, and we've never actually been to Paris itself. One day we'll head down to Paris itself, but tomorrow we're definitely eating in there. Great place. But there's no time to wait right now, as we're now heading on to our next attraction in the journey and the Temple of Peril. Wow, what a ride is that? Indiana Jones over at one of the best themed lands in the world and walking around here actually, I said earlier, when the shows are on, like you see the drones up there, when the shows are on, Around here is a lot quieter. I mean, like, look at us walking around here. One of the best lands on the planet. We're walking around here, it is completely empty. I think we can only go around this way at the moment. But it is absolutely amazing. Looking around here, seeing out if everything's just to offer. I mean, it is an absolutely crazy. We're literally following this guy right now over towards the next ride. But look at this land. We're quickly before that, Adam, how have you found Indiana Jones? 
Oh, you know, it's actually a really fun ride. It's actually quite enjoyable. I do definitely enjoy it. And you know, what? it's a fun coaster. It's quite shaky, yes. Also, I thrust the upper tire as well. So basically, in terms of where you can see it, uh, when you go around to the top of the lift hill, you know that you'll be able to see two corners. You head around a corner, and then towards the end of that corner, you'll see a corner of the building, basically. So it's any sense at all. Um, but yeah, you'll basically see that. And that's where you can see up the tower. And I'm so confident I saw it as well. I think I saw the shape of it, everything like that. But it's too close to that. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what's going on right now. I think this area is closed, it's getting brought across. But part of it is magic. I mean, it is so, so awesome. It looks like really messy. Thank you. Uh, Dad, what just happened? Dad, what just happened? Huh? What just happened? Well, he thought we wanted to see the show. He's trying to go a different way. And then he said, oh, I'll find out if it's open for you because 20 minutes ago it's closed. But we already knew it was open, so we wanted to delay this a little bit. But he's trying to be nice. Yeah, exactly. Disney magic, that's what it really is. Like, look at yeah, that here. Yeah, the staffing is here are amazing. They're really, really nice. Like, let's go through it. I'll probably end up getting a break myself, to be honest. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Sorry, the start of it. I mean, like, how we just walked around, like a guy there, there trying to help. Exactly. Really yeah, nice. Literally the best. I mean, I'm going to say best staff, but probably the best people I've ever met in my life. Like, yeah. They are unbelievable. They are what makes Disney Disney. Yeah, and I said, and I said it's a lot in Florida, and I said a lot here as well. Yeah. I'm funny that I haven't said it this book yet, but. Disney is what it is, as you said, because of the staff members over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, it, honestly, it wouldn't be the same without the staff members. They are literally all cast members, actually. And that yeah, just shows you how much respect Disney has for them. And you know what? I mean, to, it's just like they do an amazing job. This, everyone wants to be here. Like, none of them is, like, stand on their phones or something like that. No. And when you we, travel we, around. We, we've been to Pass, okay? And one of the I'm not going to name the name, Dollywood. Which, uh, when we were over there, there were like characters, but they were literally standing behind like this wall here yeah. because they didn't want anyone to take photos of them. I know, exactly. And it's all and this, the staff some, on their phones and stuff in the, the shop. Stuff. Some which are very nice here. Yeah, obviously, yeah. It's always the majority. It's probably some. No, nah, yeah. I can't make something that's not nice here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, I mean, just, honestly, like, I can't tell you enough. Like, the stop is amazing. That is so amazing. And just the way they all have the different uniforms, everything like that, just blends in so well with the actual experience. And you know what? When I look forward to coming to this place, the cast members is mainly what I look forward to doing. Yeah, right. Like, they're being so nice. You used to go to a place which has got the best feeling in the world, the best rise in the world. But the best people in the world as well. I mean, like, even the guests here, here everyone's just so nice. And it's thanks to the staff, the guests are nice. I mean, like, that's it. like, it's just like a place where everything's perfect. Yeah. And like, you may think that we're wrapping on a little bit too much, but honestly, they mean so much to us. Like, and I know for a lot of people out there, they, they just mean so much to everyone. Yeah. They, they do a great And the reason we call cast you. members as well is because you're meant to be on a show. So when they, when you evacuate a ride, you're not evacuating a ride, yeah. you've got an in show exit. It's so weird right now. I mean, this is the shortest we've ever been in this show, waiting for us to come on. It's like, well, this is the most oddest experience I think we've oh, ever really? had in our lives. It's then right. It means that we're literally on our own. Yeah, I'm I'm possible. I mean, literally, I think no one's here. Lit I mean, we're going to walk around right now, but the staff are just starting to board the trains and stuff, so us to get on. This has got to be, I'm going to take you along, but this has got to be the most weird as a pole. It's going to be the most weirdest experience I think I've ever experienced in my life. Let's go around the corner right now. This is how quiet it is during fire at the time. <laughs> like that. I mean, literally, it's a walk. <laughs> Where are we going to sit? I know. Wow, I know. Already starts our journey on our very, very empty boat. This I mean, you can't see anyone. Insane, right. I wouldn't be surprised we're the only ones on the ride. Actually. I know. Yeah, I think we are, because the funny thing was, this train was sitting in the station, must be for about three or four minutes, and if people were on the actual train itself, they can't really just keep people on here, so it must have been no one on this whole entire ride of that. I mean, and I, what we obviously do is they obviously keep the boats here, when someone comes on, they just have to start sending boats, sending boats, sending boats, so they get off. I think we're literally the only people on yeah. this whole entire ride. So it's just stop and go, basically, for the entire ride. It's literally, the weirdest experience that we've ever had. I mean, this is insane. Like, I've never had this before, and it's such a big, complex start line as well. I know. Like, you know how busy it can get, and there's literally there's no, no one. one. I mean, we're watching the boats go around right now. I know you guys really can't it's see it on the camera. Creepy, but right? it's quite creepy. We're literally the only ones on the entire ride. Yeah, it's nice, though. It's good fun. Like, it's good fun. What makes it. Like, you have memories like this, which is incredible. I know. Similar one, Go Janet Coaster, but this yeah. is probably up there for weirdness. Oh, yeah, Completely yeah. empty. Yeah. Very, very, very 
creepy. This is so weird. Literally, there's no one here on the pole, then. I, I think we're probably dead on the right, to be. I'm going to find a light point and charge up our boat here. But as you can already see, no one is in front of us. Yeah. No one is behind us. One of the weirdest things. We need to start the lift door as well, and there's literally still no one there. Yeah. So. There can, be like, there can be like 1,200 people in here at a time we worked it's out. Yeah. And we are literally the only four. because all I can see is nothing because there's nothing on the line. Yeah, it's crazy. Bonkers. I'm not even going to talk right now. That's got to be the most unusual, scariest as well, but most amazing experience I've had in Paris. That was insane. I think, I genuinely think we were the only people on that whole entire ride. Because when I had to go to the ride photos, apart from us, there was nobody else. And I think there's like maybe 8 to 16 up there. So I'm pretty confident that we may have been here. I think it's like 16 actually. I'm pretty confident that we were the only people on past that bit near this lamp hole. Huh, I know. Pretty crazy. I know, absolutely bonkers. I mean, but I just want to share with you guys it means so much as well. You can see the staff are packing away now. It is the end of the day. We don't outdo our stay. Like when we finish the ride, we're now gone. So oh, yeah, no, definitely. we don't do it. But, yeah, we no, no. but we highly suggest getting a queue line for the last ride of your day. I said, they're us out. So well organised. You see the final fire they sent off right now on the car. So I think we need to go a little bit quicker to avoid those crowds on the way out if we can. I mean, that's it though. Like, we oh, look at go. I mean, listen, no, like, we, we wouldn't sort of stand around and just hold up all the staff members and everything. No. Like, as soon as I ride some, we will go straight away. And yeah, of course, just be respectful to the staff there. I mean, they work all day. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah. They love it, of course. I mean, well, from what I know, they love it. <laughs> yeah, it's hard not to, really. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> but, yeah, be respectful. But the rules are over here at Disney is you can get in a queue to the end of the day. Meaning, we sums up the place. <laughs> basically like that. So if you're coming over here, get in that queue line, get in that queue for a big final ride. We need to pass the cab in because we were trying to go towards other mountain, but obviously we couldn't make it in time. But no matter what ride you want to do, whatever big Q ride, now of course there's a risk that it's going to close during the day, but no matter what ride you really want to do and have a long queue, get on any of them, that would oh, be yeah. highly worth it. I think we're now making our way around here. We also do make this around, there's also a smart route around it, so we find another way, but Disneyland Mode 70 is another experience, isn't it, in itself? Like, we're ready to get to see it, so come over here at night, experience your last final ride when the park does close, and if you notice the lead up is it's absolutely crazy. I, mean, I just can't stop filming the camera. I mean, I'm going to watch this back in a bit, I'm going to be like, wow, that is really yeah, awesome. There's literally no one here. Here's I know. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, as I said, we're not holding up like, the stuff in this hall, because no. I mean, there's literally no one. I mean, the amount of photos that I want to have right now over here, yeah. like, but every single moment, moment get a photo. Yeah, just very stressful to them, because as you said, but, you know, they try to film the dead, it's great as they can, you know, they do a fantastic job. Yeah, exactly, but look at this. Yeah. These photo opportunities down here, I mean, I know, I'm, I'm filming this camera, because you would be snapping away right now down here. Yeah. It's honestly such an amazing place. Walking away is empty, like, what an experience, I'm like... Oh, you know, I'm so good to actually have my camera, like, that's incredible. Yeah, I know, like... The soundtrack going, all the Asian theming, and like, this is something we pointed out earlier, you were actually so good, like, all the Asian theming. And this place is just awesome. I'm moving on as well, is that when you do are over here in the park in the evening, the atmosphere does not stop 
the whole theming, the whole staff, yeah, nice us. It does not stop until the last guest leaves that park. Yeah, Parks in the UK, you sound like right now when I get the front lights on. Or you know, I get the cleaning crew starting to come around oh, and clean up. Or the generator. Or the generator is going on. But over here at Disney, they keep the absolute atmosphere. You see the fighting out there, they keep the atmosphere going right until the end. And we've got to be as quick as we can because that's like the finale. We might have just missed it, but wow. Incredible. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm not stopping the camera until we get down to that pathway because this is unbelievable. The center of shutters right now. Everything's so cool. I know, look at this. Like, it got the right start and the right spot to do every day of the year. Every day is fire extra goes. Every day there's someone like us walking down here, and that could be you in a bit. Honestly, if you haven't already, get yourself down there. Like, I know people that don't really want to come, and to you, I don't know why. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, I know. It's absolutely phenomenal. We're gonna have a quick nip down over towards our little pathway down here to the end, but it's playing the front song. We probably thought the end actually, funny enough. So we're gonna head down here, we're gonna get down as quick as we can, and then we'll show you some clips on the way out. Disneyland Park for our final, but also first night over here, and it has been amazing. Short trip this one, but it has been phenomenal. Oh, it's I mean, we're been gonna give our full review when we get back to the cabin over day before because I want to show you inside of that. But you can hear the soundtrack ending right behind me right now as we make it out of these gates. Oh, I was gonna go into that. I was very close to going into that. We're so used to opening that. Whacking open, but. Even though they didn't have that, they actually turned stars. So. Exactly. You see the light projecting up here? Oh, it's so, so cool. Yeah, the little glimpse over there. How cool is that? I mean, Disney, amazing place, but if you can oh, leave. Yeah, if you can. Yeah, you can see your show. But there. if you can leave before the fireworks end, do that. Because there are crowds and in probably a. Third, second time, I mean, to be it's honest, gonna be packed. That's the thing, like, even if you, I mean, if you know there's a finale at the show, like, I don't know why people just do not head out until it's just leave a little, just leave a little bit earlier. Yeah, even if you get right to the finale, you just go at that point. Like, yeah, I mean, you can just watch it on YouTube and go. Because otherwise, but, you're gonna be crowded when getting out of here. You see your little easier crowd stuff coming out right now behind us. But you're gonna try to get out of here, you can try to get out of the car park, and overall, it's not great. But if you don't mind queues, and if, to be honest, even if you are going to leave when the show finishes, you'll spend half an hour in Disney Village. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it's nothing worth doing out there. But here I go, out of park, and we're now going to go towards the car. We're going to go back towards David Crockett yeah. and finish the vlog from inside the cabin. What gets you in the face? How nice oh, is that? I love that. Thing. King Luck was car. I've always wanted to be there. Is well, there you go from Disneyland Paris, and we have now made it back to the Dave Cricket Ranch. Currently around 12 o'clock, so it's been a very, very long day. Oh, yeah. But that is what's so nice about this ranch. You get to drive back, escape from it all, but still there's touches. Like, if you come down here quickly towards our room, and I want to give you a little show around, you can see you've still even got the little Mickey's down there, and I want to be one of these home, but they're in the hotel, so you guys can't take it back. Yeah, but they look absolutely so cool. awesome. But the day has been absolutely fantastic. We're going to go through all in a sec. But as I said, I just want to take you in here, have a little show around. We have done a full hotel vlog from over here, but being able to get back here, it's already the same price as most of our hotels at Disneyland Paris. Yeah, I mean, like, it's so nice. It's, right? I think it's in between like Santa Fe and Cheyenne yeah, to. Yeah, sometimes it's even cheaper. Yeah, to Sequoia Lodge and Newport Bay. They're kind of in between yeah, level. It, so. so it could be. But it can be cheaper. It, can, it all fluctuates as well. So make sure yeah. to have a look. Especially going down your past, it can be like. Sometimes we've got Sequoia Lodge a lot cheaper than other hotels. So it's just really weird how it all works. So make sure to check it out before you go all of the options. But there you go, especially going for a long time. Being able to sit here, have a whole lounge area, like you see right now, we've got the beds in there, the parents got a bedroom in there, we've also got the editing going right now for the parade, that video will be up very shortly, and we're going to sit down here, have a bit of tea, you've got a giant fridge, and watch a little safety smile. If you haven't seen one of these before, it is an amazing program. And by the way, it's probably the best TV program, like, ever created, well, like, it's one of the best TV series. It's incredible. I mean, it doesn't look much from right there, no, right now. Tim and Timon basically do. Tim and Timon, sorry. Basically, do our special, like, safe dogs. It's quite childish, but it's one of our it's classics cool. and it's still very, very, very fun. And also, to watch. as well, a quick tip if you've actually visited Walt Disney World, you can actually collect these transportation cards. Well, on there, they do actually have the safety smart cards, which you didn't realise until we went. But yeah, they do actually have safety smart cards, which you've now got, so it's pretty cool. Which is pretty, pretty cool indeed. Well, so. But as far as the day's been, let's just start from the beginning. How's your entire day been? 
Oh, it's been so good, honestly. Just stepping back inside of Disneyland Park again. I mean, that park is one of my favourite theme parks. I mean, anywhere in the world, to be honest. It's just insane, like, from the theming, rides, anything, like, shows and everything, literally. It's pretty much phenomenal. And also, all the Christmas decorations. You know, Disney's Enchanted Christmas is definitely one of the best events I've been to. And it's Disney, so it's going to be incredible anyway. But, you know, yeah, I felt like the event was really strong this year. And as we said, we did actually visit back in 2012, uh, of course, about 10 years ago now, uh, which is pretty crazy, but you know what, it's definitely pretty cool, and yeah, I definitely love it. But also as well, Walt Disney Studios Park was great, Adventures Campus was nice to see, even though, yeah, I probably do prefer Web Slingers. I still thought that, uh, of course, Avengers Assemble Flight Force was still good. Uh, yeah, and just getting on a couple of other attractions in there, along with Disney Village, was also nice as well. Yeah, I do agree with you. Great. It was nice to see everything as well. Like, I didn't think we were going to see much I'm sitting down because my legs are literally dying. So, I mean, we've been standing there for the entire day. The only time I sat down today was we went to Earl's Sandwich for like half an hour. The rest of the time we've been walking, standing. I mean, my phone went out of charge for a few day, but my step count would be ridiculous today because we've done so much. I thought we were going to go to one park. Well, I thought we were going to two parks. But if we do everything else as well, like go around to Disney Village, go to the hotels, experience absolutely everything. It's been absolutely phenomenal. But to show you all that, as well as watch the parade and have that, it's just been amazing. Mum, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. And I particularly like the uh, Christmas parade. I do agree. That was really, it really was good. Really, really and there will be a separate video out on the channel, which I'm going to edit all together in a sec. Show guys in the full parade. So that is decorations really awesome. Good. Yeah, decorations are amazing. Avengers Land was good. Yeah, Avengers Campus is really, really Avengers awesome. Campus, yeah. But. Wow, it's been an amazing day. Loved it. And I can't believe it. Yesterday, yesterday, we were literally arriving here from driving from after school. And now we're here on our final, but again, first last day. Final, final or first last day. I'm getting tired now, guys. Long Over weekend. here at Disneyland Valley. It's been a long weekend, but we're still going to have a day to come. So if you want to get out, tomorrow's vlog will be up probably in a few days' time. So maybe just stay tuned to that. But with all that said, my name is Tom Derek from Theme by Code. And that was us from over here at Disneyland Paris for the opening day of their Christmas event.